Hey, if you're watching this episode of the podcast on YouTube, just want to remind you, we live stream every Monday night exclusively for first members at roosterteeth.com. If you'd like a 30-day free trial, just click the link in the description below and come watch it live with us. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Blue Apron, Nature Box, and Squarespace. Thanks to our sponsors for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. As always, I'm Gus. Gavin. Zach. Zach. And Josh. <laughs> and Gus. <laughs> uh, we got a special guest with us. Thanks, uh, Gus. Hey, yeah, Barbara. Gus, you're a or guest. no, you Zach. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Zach, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, have, have you watched our, a lot of our podcasts? I'm a big star, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a schmuck. Uh, thank and you, thank you guys so much for having me, by the way. That's still I, weird. I, I, I uh, landed in Austin like three days ago and was reminded that Rooster Teeth was in Austin. I was like, I got to reach out to those guys because I watched Red versus Blue like way back in the day. He's in that. I'm, I'm I, in that. like all in that. Yeah. I know. I, I mean know. He, he's all up in the red. You're and the Griff, blue. right? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, and I just think what you guys are doing out here is awesome. And Barbara gave uh, me and uh, Dave Coleman, my partner at Nerve Machine, and Justin Allen, my partner at Middleman, gave us this awesome tour. We got to see the whole facility and all the different stages. And I met so many people, and I can't remember most of their names except for Zach and Josh. Yeah. Um, Perfect. And Gavin and Gus, of course, hey you know, because we're all sharing the couch together. I think. But it's awesome what you guys are doing. You here. have probably seen more of The Office now than I've seen. Yeah, I, I, oh, I've seen more of your, I was like, the, the Office, the series? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the whole British version, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no, I did. I got to see a lot of the facility. Yeah, Do you guys all know each other? I have a feeling like some people, because you have a lot of employees now. Like in the beginning, you all knew each it's, other, and now there's so many people walking around. It's difficult. It's yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of, hey, guy. <laughs> What's it's Gus, it's Gus, but yeah. thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you. The other day I ordered takeout, and someone misspelled Gus, G-Y-S. Guys? Guys. Well, it's probably just their writing was weird. No, no, yeah. no. I, that was a weird. There was a weird Y on the receipt. <laughs> it was <laughs> printed G Y S. Oh, they, they type like bastards. I don't know. What would G Y S be short for? Just Geyser. <laughs> Justine. Giscari. Giscari. The little uh, Game of Thrones there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You outnerded me. Yeah. You outnerded me. I'm, uh, I'm. I'm all over that. Man, speaking of nerd stuff. I, 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 was, I, was, I was just showing showing Gavin right now before we started. I was so happy a little while ago because uh, Westworld retweeted a tweet of mine and uh, and started following me on Twitter. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter it? if it's a show. It's I like, said Westworld is so good. And then Tandy Newton liked one of the tweets. Alright, that's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tandy Newton read my name. I don't know pretty, any of these. She's people. so good in the show. She's man. she's amazing. Although like, although her lab techs are dumb dumbs. Yes. They are dummies. Yeah. Like, they know unless they we're about to learn something that's going to explain their dumbness, but I can't. <laughs> call security for God's sake! Just call security. And they work in a glass room. How, they, how are they getting <laughs> away with it? Their CCTV uh, <laughs> situation at Westworld is no bueno. They have cameras on nothing. But, yeah, no, but you can just walking down. around. You can just swipe looking down and around. make yourself invisible. They apparently. had they had um, video of that one tech. Having sex with a host oh, like, God, in yeah. the middle of nowhere. Oh dear. But they don't oh, have dear. video of them. Your shiner just there. got real excited. It is Christmas so cheer. spread the paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> the, paper, oh, the paper towel mad rush is on. Is fantastic. I'm ready to catch. Oh, wait, How's everybody at home doing? So, um, thanks. There you go. <laughs> wow. That was a good throw. Shafton. You played a lot of rugby growing up, didn't you? <laughs> I was talking with Josh a little earlier, and yeah. I felt bad because I cut him off mid story. Because I wanted to hear the that story on the podcast. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want it to it's get. It's not ruined. that it, now. It's like super hyped. Well, no. And, like, and like, like I was upset know. about something you said. What did you do this weekend? I went. I took an emergency trip to Disneyland this weekend because one, because I just you know wanted to get away, be a child again, but also because Tower of Terror is closing for good what? on January second forever. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, had, I hadn't heard that. It's becoming Guardians of the Galaxy, the ride, the, yeah, the re the whole thing. Mission. Is it still going you know, like to be like exactly the same? Just yeah. to put Chris yeah. Pratt in the... Yeah. <laughs> Chris Pratt will be like the ghost in the hallway going, yeah. where are we right yeah. now? <laughs> they replaced Rod Serling with Chris Pratt. And it's the exact, but don't exact they same ride. still have Tower of Terror in Disney World? Get, they're both That's getting, also changing. Yep. Really? Them, Look, it's both. happened a couple of times. Our childhoods are, are disappearing in front of us. Swiss Family Robinson. Became Tarzan. Treehouse became Tarzan Treehouse. Then... Dude, fucking Tom Sawyer's Island became Pirate Cove, and I'm sorry, I just I drew the line there. I'm like Tom Sawyer, he's still got to be, yeah. he's still got to be Disney. It's still it's both. It's like Tom Sawyer's Pirate Island or something. No, I think they took all yeah. the Tom Sawyer well, stuff. Well, now they're doing something completely different. I don't know what they're doing now. It's they're not for something completely different. Yeah. What are they doing now? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. 
but they didn't show Phantasmic, so I was very So sad. I think you guys... <laughs> it was just a bad week. You just don't, like, change. No. Uh, progress uh, is good, but not if you're going to, like, destroy our childhoods at the same time. A, a few years ago, uh, I went to Minecon in 2011, and mm -hmm. in 2011, they had it at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Uh, so I had time to, to, to walk around the park and I'm not like a huge Disney person. I know some people are like really into like mm -hmm. the history and the lore and all the different stuff. And I really wanted the to lore ride of Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Is there lore? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, There's yeah, tons yeah. of lore. Steep. And really? yeah. I wanted to ride Space Absolutely. Mountain while I was there because apparently, um, the Space Mountain there has a loop mm -hmm. and, th th and it's In like, Paris? yeah. And it's Jules Verne inspired and it's like kind of oh, steampunky. Wow. It was closed the whole time I was there. Oh no! no. Um, but then people kept telling me that I should I should go in the haunted mansion because the haunted mansion was totally different there. Mm -hmm. and, and it was closed the whole time. No, no, it was open, <laughs> but it was depressing as fuck. Oh really? It was like an old coal mining town where the coal mine had collapsed and killed hundreds of children, and the child and everyone was sad about it. So it's like. In the U.S., you go to like the what? haunted mansion. Like the ghosts are happy. You know they're like having parties. Well, they're stuff. all in New Orleans. You can't not right. be happy in New Orleans. You go to the one in Paris, and it's like, look at all these dead children. What a horrible mining accident! <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's super it's up. realistic. That's what a ghost would be like. It'd be pissed yeah. off that it died. Yeah, they would be happy. Have you met Casper? He's a friendly ghost. Yeah, he's American. Yeah, he's a he's American. <laughs> Dude, that movie depressed me so bad. Casper. What Casper did? Yeah. Why? Because he wanted to love and he couldn't. Why not? Because yeah. he was a ghost. I don't know. You seem pretty dead inside to me. Yeah. That yeah. really bummed you out. Yeah, is that what it. is that what killed you ultimately? Your inner child when you after yeah. watching Casper, you're like, I'm just gonna be frigid and he cold. Just wanted yeah. to love. <laughs> well, Barbara, have you talked about the other amusement park we went to recently? <laughs> I don't think we talked about it. We went. Down it was Unless mentioned. Chris did. It was mentioned briefly by Chris. Yeah. Jo okay. Josh and I and a few other people yeah. were in Mexico for Brandon's wedding. We're in wedding. Monterey. Re real, real fast. I'm getting reports on Twitter that the Orlando uh, Tower of Terror may be staying. Okay, I'm, I'm, in, I'm investigating. Okay. Important. All right, go ahead. Uh, we went to Monterey. Yeah, we were in for, a Monterey, Mexico. Mm -hmm. And we went to, we were just looking at things to do. So we went to like this park and it turned out there park was. Park Fundido or something? Yeah. Fundidora? Like the cheese. <laughs> and <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the, there was this small amusement park by it that was, it was officially licensed Sesame Street Park. Plus Sesamo. Yeah. I believe. Plus Del Sesamo or something. And it was like, but it looked like like an off-brand park in Korea or something. Like it was terrifying and the people were all grouped up front. All the rides were about 60 or 70 years old, probably. Yeah, like rusted. probably like picked up and moved from an old like US amusement park and rebranded. And, and the wow. Sesame Street characters would chase you around the yeah. park the second you got like, in there. Like Times, like, so like the Sesame Street characters that are in Times Square in right. New York, those ones, Yeah, they're yeah. chasing you around. You retire from Times Square to Mexico. Go. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it might be the once you've done, you, once you put your years in in Times Square as a Times Square Elmo, then you go to Mexico. <laughs> and, and, o ceremony. and only if you're a Green Big Bird. <laughs> yeah, there they was don't a have Green Big Bird. It's a uh, and there's a uh, all the are weird. Verde Azul is that what yeah. they call them? Oh wow! Wow, you know way more Spanish than I do. Bone. So that was bon that was cool twisting. I was going to French. <laughs> ah. It doesn't matter. No, I felt like I was going to die on every single ride we went on. Yeah, it was legitimate. Because you I'll almost died on every ride. Yeah, there was a on. roller coaster we went on where, no joke, if you put your hands up in the air, it would have been sliced off by rails. Yeah, I mean, it was it was intense. That can't be true. It's absolutely. Uh, it we thought Ashley Shoemaker was going to die. Yeah, we were waiting for her <laughs> head to come off. We're like, is this the one? No, is it? no. Just she yeah. survived the whole ride. And there was a my favorite moment. We were in the gift shop at the end. And uh, there was a character, I don't know what her name is. She's pink and has like scraggly hair. And earlier in the day, she like grabbed my hand and took me like in this parade thing. And it was like really creepy. Uh, and then later we were in the gift shop and I look over at the window and she's looking in the window at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she like, she catches my attention and I look over and I start filming her and she goes, she just starts waving at was me it, really slowly. Was her name Dolores? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Was it a creepy dude in the suit, do you think? Probably. Yeah. I was at Disneyland once, and uh, the Queen of Hearts was um, like jocking with me, and l came down and sat down on my lap, and then laughed. And it was a dude inside the Queen of Hearts outfit, and because <laughs> there's not a lot of talk. And I, saw, I said something, and all, all of a sudden I hear this, <laughs> and then the Queen of Hearts goes, "Snap!" Like we both look at each other like this, <laughs> and then somebody runs away. It's like, all right, you learn something new every day. King of Hearts. <laughs> Oh, hmm. yeah. It's a new world, people. It's a new world. <laughs> One time I was on, you were talking about like how dangerous the ride was. Yeah. One time I was on Space Mountain uh, in Disneyland, and the ride stopped. 
and then the lights came on. Yes. And I've never been more terrified. I don't think I've gotten back on Space Mountain again since I've been in there with the lights off. When you see that jumble of tracks, yeah. and you're like, how does this thing not completely, like, how do you not get your hand sliced off when you're going under places? Yeah, yeah I think the it's rest nuts. of the ride, I rode it like. But you know, sometimes they open it up and specifically <laughs> run it with the lights on. Like it's a special, they'll, they'll do like special days like that. That's terrifying. It's pretty fun. Yeah, that's got, totally different. I got trapped on, a, have you guys ever been to Animal Kingdom? Mm hmm in Disney World. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a ride that Ellen DeGeneres hosts. It's like a tour through like the dinosaur. Like yeah, She yeah, hosts yeah. every single one. Damn, that woman works. I know. Uh, She's it, doing her <laughs> show. How does she do that in LA? And then... It basically... It's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, th this is going to be nothing but dumb jokes <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> that, that's you can kick podcast. me off of We've been doing podcast. it for years. <laughs> at any time. Uh, I'm just telling my dad shit. You've come to the right place. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go. What? Uh, by the way, I love that you have an applause sign. Does that light up every once in a while? I have never yeah. seen that before. Mm, it's on top of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm pointing things out to before. you on your <laughs> podcast. This is fantastic. But you know the stuff up. that's in front of you every week. You, you start you start after a while. Yeah, like all of the people running the cameras. You don't know any of them. All the gentlemen in the booth. Everything yeah. just works. Yeah. But we were on this ride. Um, it's like a tour through like a Jurassic era. And Ellen DeGeneres is hosting it. And it broke down twice when me and my family were on it. Where it just like we were stuck in this car with all these people. And it just wasn't moving. No one was coming out to say like, oh, sorry, folks, broke down. So we were just sitting in there with all the lights on for a good 25 minutes. Did Ellen oh. start glitching out and getting all creepy? <laughs> like, brr, brr. <laughs> Let's dance. No. Uh, <laughs> It, I mean, we just went on it again, and then it broke down again, so we just said, fuck it. Never finished that ride. Well, at least it wasn't like the real Jurassic Park, where when the ride does break down, the the characters eat the, right. eat the people. Yeah, like, and the kids die. Like the lion in the, the movie. Yeah. Yeah, what exactly. was the downfall of Jurassic Park? Like, what was the one thing that made everything go wrong? Newman. Newman. It was Newman. Well, Newman. Yeah. Well, Kind of, Newman. yeah, but also he nicked all the stuff, right? But yeah, but the genome wasn't right, right? So they oh. they put they were doing something where the oh, like dinosaurs needed stuff. lysine, or they were super deficient in lysine, I think, and so they couldn't procreate. And then they found, remember they they well, ended they, up finding some dino eggs, and they were like, oh, they've yeah. they've beaten the they beaten the system in that regard. But yeah, then Newman with his Barbasol can, and they turn off all the power. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. That scene where that dinosaur comes out and it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Side thing. I, I love man. that. Gave me nightmares yeah. for years. Totally. I love watching that can roll down the hill through the Barbasol. Water. So satisfying. <laughs> oh, this is a Unix system. I know this. <laughs> 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 it's like my favorite line in the, in the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, the little hold uh, on to your butts. Imagine if clicking Samuel through Jackson folders was smoking actually took that long. Love, uh, yeah, if that, that was hacking. Yeah. Clicking and, and moving a mouse. Like, visualize flying through folders and be like, oh, there's my pictures and my downloads. <laughs> that was <laughs> a really good era yeah, my though, of like interneting. Like, you had like Lawnmower Man and all these movies that yeah. just did mm -hmm. not understand what computers looked like oh, yeah. for some reason. It was just like they were all... I never understood that, that shot in The Matrix, the first one, where he's, you know, typing away. But you can see his screen projected on his face. Mm -hmm. And that is in a lot of movies. It's in Alien as well, where it's like... The screen is is in reverse on their face. It's like screens don't do that though. Just a light would have been great. Yeah, would have been fine. But it's always like backwards computer. Oh, screen. like actually, oh, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can yeah. see the yeah. Script, yeah the well, text. It doesn't happen. Maybe you're just like really greasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reflecting on your skin. I never thought about. I can that. read Helvetica on your forehead. <laughs> you are super greasy right now. What is that Comic Wendy's? Sans in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you searching right now? That's horrible. Anchor sailboat. But I feel like any any new technology is like that, right? Like people didn't understand computers at the time, so like, oh, we're gonna make it look cool and interesting on on oh, on, dude. on film. Yeah, look at weird science. Remember, like all the weird hacking, and they were literally getting into like all the governments and everything, and it just looked like weird polygon tunnels that they were. And one of them had like a skull and crossbones, like <laughs> you can't enter. Yeah. Like that was the you government's yeah. firewall. Was a skeleton with glowing eyes. Yeah. We <laughs> we can't get in. That's what I got. Kelly like, Lebrock is gonna yeah. have to wait. So intimidating. I but not, I mean, not, when you mention weird science, it makes me think of like um, war games, and I think they did a fairly they did realistic yeah. representation of what it was. Yeah. It's like a screen with text. You know, yeah. you gotta fucking take your phone, put it on the modem, dial in, get mad when someone calls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Plus the worst noise in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's like like a thousand bunny rabbits dying. <laughs> It's like that. Uh, in the Matrix. Have you seen that video of someone pressing all those ducks? Yes, yeah, an thing? idea. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they just pressed out on a whole basket of them. Oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah. The things you learn on the internet. All the souls escaping bodies. That's <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> so it feels like. <laughs> Valhalla! <laughs> all those children from the mines. That's what it is. Oh, right. oh way wow. to bring that back. I'm sorry. Yeah, they were. That's what they sounded like. They were so, they were so sad. Cool.
It was, it was it was really bizarre. If you ever get a chance, you should uh, you should you should. I don't know. You didn't do a great job of selling it. I think that just would be depressing. Well, like I went on with some friends who are they're the Mega sixty four guys. Yeah. Like they they're really into like the lore of Disneyland. They understand it. And they're like, you got to come on. You got to check it out. And then we get off, and they're like, wasn't that awesome? I'm like, what the fuck did we just watch? They're like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally different than the U S version. I was like, that's really depressing. They're like, uh huh. So what else happened in Disneyland while you were there? Oh. Any. any Cool stories? No, we just, I mean, Nadia had never been. We went with uh, James and Elise from Funhouse, so we got the, the tour with them. I don't know, just good. We just, we just did as much as we could do in two days. I've never been to Disneyland. Yeah, me neither. I've been oh. to Disney World four or five times, but never Disneyland. I've never been to Disney World, but I've been to Disneyland a lot. <laughs> I grew up in Southern California. Oh, yeah, so it's like It's the OG, but it's way smaller. People come from Disney World, if they've never been to Disneyland, they go to Disneyland, they're like, what is this? This is like I could teeny. see both ends in a day. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can, but it's also like I don't know. You kind of feel that vibe or that rusticness yeah. that, so that it it's is. It's got the charm. It's got the charm yeah. exactly. Where you know, and they learned a lot from that. And then by the '70s or whenever they broke ground in Florida, they're like, "We're gonna make this a little bit bigger. We're yeah. gonna buy all the marshland around here." World. <laughs> Let me uh, read this right here. Uh, I want to thank Blue Apron for sponsoring tonight's Rooster Teeth podcast. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. Some of their upcoming meals include roasted pork and braised cabbage with barley and glazed apples, Thai green coconut curry with sweet potato and jasmine rice, brown butter and chestnut gnocchi with Brussels sprouts and pea shoot salad. Uh, gnocchi, I said it right. Uh, I said it right. Uh, I said it right. Uh, I've talked about the service tons of times. I love using it. It's, uh, it's a really, I don't know, it's a really fun thing to do at the end of the day at work. Uh, so check out this week's menu. Get your first three meals for free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash roosterteeth. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash roosterteeth. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Big thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. And we got a little, we got a, a pinch hitter oh! over in the other. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I'm so happy in this thing right now. I have a cow chop. Was it onesie? Onesie. Yes. I like that. Oh, that is definitely a onesie, my friend. I'm so happy. <laughs> I like that it's red on the inside, I'm... like a split open cow. <laughs> I would have just had like the 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 lines of like, like the entrails. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I just literally. I think I look like the, the world's least threatening Sith Lord. Is what I look like. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah. Can you do the zip up? Can you do the zip up to the top? I can. I think I can. I'm gonna run head. and punch him in the face when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> now talk. Do you get claustrophobic? Hey, hey Bernie. Claustroph- no, I don't get claustrophobic. Make sure you move the force. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Any better? Move the force. Oh God, Barbara, you'd be so happy. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. For people at home, the Australian <laughs> short that we put out today, Barbara, yeah, yeah, on YouTube, it's to promote us going to uh, RTX Sydney where we get in a fight with a kangaroo. You, I saw on the comments for that, you, this is your soulmate, whoever wrote this comment. Uh-huh. They were very upset that we were commenting on Australian culture. They said, I don't think Rooster Teeth should be doing that. I don't think they're qualified. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I would be more I instantly if I thought of you. Is she that punny? Is she punny oh. pun? It's nonstop. Don't don't it's encourage really her. Is she non-stop. the punster? Do not encourage her. Oh. I just did. Just by even bringing it up. Dear it's Lord. Like, it's, it's, on. Like, it's like one of the I've unlocked one of the seals. You're so. into puns and you're dead inside? Yeah. This is, I'm the best of both worlds. This is not this is no boy. Is this any thing you being dead inside? Speaking of Spanish, this is Why no are you dead bueno. inside? I d- we just talked about <laughs> Casper the Friendly Ghost and how I thought it was sad. Well, I do think I, I think Casper the Friendly Ghost. And then, then that's when you died as as a person. It's true. Yeah. I think ghosts are as a rule are not friendly. That's why they have to call out Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's the exception. Right? Oh, that's interesting. He's the friendly ghost. But does this make mm-hmm. me Singular. right or wrong? Sure. Not one of the friendly ghosts, but he is the friendly ghost. Well, but can't you be like the friendly friend in a in a group of friends? That doesn't mean that there aren't other friendly people in the world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could be like, you know, if any room he's in, he's the friendliest ghost. Yeah, right. So he's the friendly. Sure. Sure. He's the friendly ghost of that particular social so, circle of ghosts. That's a and glass now, half full way to look right, at it. Come on. And now the uh, Casper lore section of the Rooster Teeth podcast. I've been waiting for this. this okay, guys, hold on. I've got a yeah. few things the I pulled up on that Wikipedia. That was Christina Ricci in that movie, right? I think it was, yeah. Are we sponsored yeah. by Casper? She was a little no, girl not. in every <laughs> movie in that so. time. She like was no, in not. everything. She was. She was. Wednesday and Adam's Family? Come on. That was She fantastic. was part of a creepy like Puba. thing, too, which I'm glad is a part of the internet that seems to be behind us now, <laughs> that they used to do countdowns of when uh, certain yeah, yeah. female stars were going to be 18. It's like the creepiest what? fucking thing ever. You never saw those pages? I'm still counting. I didn't. I wasn't in those uh, those annals of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you were on. Yeah, you probably were busy with other things. <laughs> Let me show you some news groups. <laughs> like, what's, what's the last when one is this one going to be of age? Uh, Emma, Emma Watson. 
Emma Watson. I didn't think about that. She might have been the last one. Emma it's Watson, just, to me, still looks very young. Natalie Portman was who, obviously. Yeah, Natalie Portman. Yeah. That was, that was so what was, was, it, was it like American? Dude, she, was, but she was hot in the professional. She was. <laughs> God. She, she was. She was. A, she was. I mean, I was a kid. She's older than I am. Oh, but so I was, she was like twelve in that movie. I know, movie. but it's like we interrupt our guests. Let them talk. Fucking, she's gorgeous. She was. She that. was badass. But, but you know, you know who I was really hot? Drew Barrymore in ET. Okay, take it easy. So, she was adorable. To get us the fuck off this topic, <laughs> I, uh, I just watched Henry Thomas's audition for Elliot uh, in E.T. Uh. Have you guys ever seen that clip before? No. Oh, it's so great. Yeah. Yeah, I won't even ruin it for you. Unfortunately, the title of the YouTube video does ruin it. I just got, like, all of a sudden, I thought, what happened, to, what happened to Henry Thomas? What's he up to these days? So I was looking at Henry Thomas stuff. I think the last time I saw him was in Suicide Kings. The last time you saw him, you thought you saw him in Saving Private Ryan, the first five minutes that one guy was on screen, but mm. it turned out to be not be Henry Thomas. Mm-hmm. That's the last time that I saw Henry Thomas. Well, so. the last time I saw him was in Suicide Kings, okay. like I said, when you <laughs> cut me off and then told that story that went nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the last time you saw Henry Thomas. <laughs> and you weren't even I'll right. I'll tell you. I wasn't even right, apparently. <laughs> you thought it was Saving Private Ryan, but it wasn't. I, I got it wrong. <laughs> So I was, I, got thinking, it wrong. I was thinking of something recently. <laughs> that would be funny to do. You know how I, don't, I wouldn't know. I don't drive. You can rent a car in one place and you can just return it wherever. I just yes. did that. So like you can rent one in Dallas and return it in Austin. I just did that. So <laughs> did you really? I really did. So what if we got everyone in Texas to rent a car and return them all to Austin? And like then, all and to the same one, Uber? but like, <laughs> what would they be able to do about that? They can't just suddenly change the rules and be like, "Oh, you can't return that here." Well, they would have to accept yeah, every we can't single. Get forty-eight percent of the people in this country to vote. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get this. Is way funnier. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, if you could drop that mic, you should. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> one. But like, what would they have to do? Would they have to well, hire a fleet of people to return all the what cars? Back is, to... uh, the more cars they get, like you and I have experienced this before. It's Sometimes when you when you rent at one place and you take it to another place, they start charging you more and more. And I think as more cars are coming in, they, they'll start increasing the fees on well, that. So it costs like five grand to... No, as you're coming in to drop it off. Like, oh. th- it's an unusual situation. Like, if they're already at capacity city. or something or close right. to it, they'll charge they'll, you more. They'll probably start increasing that rate to try to discourage you from but dropping it off But what are you going to do? There. Like, oh, never mind, and, like, drive back? Or drop it off at a different location. Like, in the same city. there's not only, for example, there's not only one Hertz location in Austin. So it's like, True. oh, instead of this one, I'll just go to the other one a couple miles away. It'd be a what if we fill all the Hertz? Right. I, what I if want, we fill all yeah. the Alamo? Like, what's that the what if we fill all the nationals? <laughs> Do you think when it you what hurt. if we fill them? When you work at a car rental company, is there like a difference like do the employees who work at the airport look down at the other locations like I'm the, the other people who work there? It's like, "Oh, I, you know, I work at Enterprise." Like, "Oh, so you work at the airport?" It's like, "No, it's the, the one on the freeway." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by a sub shop. I don't know, but wouldn't it be better to not have to work at the one at the airport? Wouldn't it be better yeah. to work in the one that's like still kind of in town? So if you want to just go meander down to get a cup of coffee or something, you're not going through terminals and paying four times as much. I just going can't imagine security every time. Every time. Yeah, yeah, anybody it, goes to those other ones, and it's like, have you ever had a job where you're sitting there with nothing to do and you have to be there for eight hours and you're just I like, I feel like I would prefer that over dealing with people who are at the airport and in a rush and grumpy and just yeah. pieces of shit. You mean come back? Right. Yeah. 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 Those are people in general. The worst people alive. Yeah, but the airport people. Travelers. Are worst worst oh. people alive. <laughs> when I'm a traveler, I listen, I, I think I'm a gold star traveler. I'm still an asshole. I feel like I'm an asshole. What, to I, other people? I just feel like internally, in like, I don't externalize it, but internally I'm like, I'm judging everything. How many times do we, how many times do we bitch about travel <laughs> I, on this podcast? I saw something really <laughs> weird. But I hate everyone that I'm dealing with. I everyone. saw something really weird. Well, now today. everyone knows. You've externalized it. <laughs> yep. Now you we hate see Bernie the, at the airport. No, he hates you. The, I, 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 was, I was on a plane. I was going from Austin to San Francisco, and in front, in front of me Why? was a family. And on oh, one I'm side sorry. of the aisle the worst. was uh, a woman and her daughter. Now, on the other side of the aisle was the, uh, the husband and, the, and a son. So you're surrounded by a family. Right, right. They're, all, they're all in front of me in the row in front so of hug me. hug that, dude. And <laughs> the, I, I realized that the, the, the woman and the man, they're sitting in the aisle seats, and they're talking to each other, but they're doing that quiet yelling thing, like where you're fighting in public. Oh, like we do. <laughs> Why are you putting on your butt? Like, oh, they're you fighting just, about something. You just something. hear all the consonants really right. loud. None of the vowels are like, coming out. I feel like there's a lot of saliva involved with fights like that. Yes. <laughs> and um, we're, we're spitting, too. Then we're getting ready to take off. That's why I said saliva. And before the, uh, <laughs> before we before we take off, before we push back, the woman pulls out latex gloves. Oh! And then she pulls out, like, sterilizing wipes and begins wiping everything down in their row. Like... The tray tables, the seats, the headrest, like, she is like, everything is being sanitized. She does her side with her kid, she goes over to her husband's side with the other kid, everything sanitized, and she like, takes the... That's the moment 
where I lean forward, tap the dude on the shoulder, and go, I don't know what the argument was about, but you're right. <laughs> Whatever it was, you are the right. You're the sane person in this relationship. <laughs> then, uh, Did you lean over and sneeze? I thought about it, but I didn't. Oh. Then uh, I see oh her. Le- I see her lean over to the husband <laughs> and go. There's there's like televisions in the back of the 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 seat. She leans over to the husband and goes. Put his to the about the set. Put his on Nickelodeon. Let him watch Nickelodeon. And I hear him go, I told you, if you don't tell me the number of the channel, I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know where Nickelodeon is. <laughs> you can't just scroll through. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, this is gonna be an interesting plot. Oh my gosh. Um, the flight attendants come by offering food and drinks, and she will not let them get anything. How long is the flight? It's like a four-hour flight to San Francisco. And she's like, no, what no, no. And then she has her own snacks that she's brought on. And she starts, like, passing them out. Yeah, so she's not starving the family. Right. She's just... She's like, okay. doesn't want right. anything fun, food. though. Okay, calm down. You don't know what, you don't know what her snacks the, were. She the, might have had great snacks. The well, snacks looked okay. Granola? The, it was granola. <laughs> okay, granola. Don't hate on granola. So yeah, then one of the kids gets sleepy. Very portable. Good granola snacks. Don't hate on that. One of the kids gets sleepy and wants to wants to take a nap. So the the husband starts, like, opening up the blanket. And getting the pillow out that's on the plane, and she's like, "I told you not to do that. Don't do it." This whole other argument. Then she goes up to the overhead bin and she pulls out her carry-on, and in the carry-on she's got these giant Ziploc bags oh my that are filled with sheets. What kind of sheets? Like bed sheets. <laughs> I assume for their hotel, wherever they're going, she is bringing her own oh sheets. My God. So she gets one of these Ziploc Don't bags filled with sheets crazy. and gives it to the kids to use as a pillow. But in the bag, this in the bag still. So the kid's like laying on a Ziploc bag that has sheets inside of it, trying to take a nap. Wow. They're like, wow, this is this is this, this is something awesome. else. This is this is a next level stuff. So we land in San Francisco. How does that make it into the carry on too? Like that's a choice you got to make. Right. If you're carrying Ziploc sheets, you've got to, what's in the bag she checked. Right. Who knows? Like extra kids. Well, she probably thought of it. <laughs> in case these ones <laughs> to be a Well, they'd pillow. probably be safer down in cargo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of germs up in where everyone's flying down there. They have you're snacks. Good. Don't worry. Uh, do you so, have anything to check? Yeah, I have a. 55 gallon drum of hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get off the plane in San Francisco and I overhear the husband talking to the flight attendant, like, yeah, we got this flight and we got a long flight ahead of us. We're flying to Sydney. I was like, you are fucking kidding me. Oh, wow. They were on my flight from San Francisco to Sydney. They were sitting like two rows in front of me. Uh, really? And I was like, what are the fucking odds? Hang on. Did she pack enough sheets and food for that? <laughs> I, 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 I was, I was checked out. I was like, I'm, I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm done she with She busts out like a Weber. She's like <laughs> grilling. I knew this was going to It's 14 hours, guys. Let me just get. <laughs> oh, my God. We, we, I brought we, some kebabs. Would you like one? <laughs> we land in Sydney. It's all antibiotic free. Yeah, all it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Farm to table, okay? <laughs> I meet up with Bethany, and I tell her, like, man, you won't believe this stuff is crazy. This family, they super germaphobe or something. Whatever. All right, let's go to the hotel. Take off, get in a, a taxi, go to the hotel, check in. I get my key and I turn around and they're walking <laughs> into the fucking <laughs> hotel. Like yeah. that point. No. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm at at the, every hotel in Sydney, they are at the same hotel as me. She's like at the check in desk with a dust buster going along the desk, <laughs> <laughs> sucking up all the business And I was like, cards. oh, remember the, the crazy people I told you about? They're right there. They just tell, walked tell in. Tell me That's they were insane. in the room next yeah, to you. Yeah, please tell me they were next to you. Tell me they were in the room next to you. No, no, I, I kept running into them in the lobby. Damn, I don't know I where they're saying. Like, so for 24, no. I spent 24 hours in almost constant contact with these people going from Austin to Sydney. Did they ever look happy? No. Hmm. <laughs> they it was it was absolutely crazy. How many kids did they have? Just the one Two. kid? Two kids. Two kids. I'm not socially awkward like you are, Gus, but there are things that happen in my life that give me anxiety it's mainly i just want to prove that i'm either not a thief or i want to prove that i'm not dangerous and like the weird thing is like when i get off when when i get off a freeway and someone is in front of me and then i just somehow they seem to be going right near my house and i keep following them for a while and i'm like i'm not following you i'm not i'm not a dangerous person and then it's like oh shit they're turning left now they're turning god damn it and it's like follow them for like two miles you did all the way around the world equivalent of that. Yeah, that might be the far. That might be the record for that ever. That that's pretty far. Uh, like you look at the globe, it's pretty much almost to the exact opposite side of the world. And think about it: if you actually were a spy and your assignment was these people, that's exactly what you'd have to do. <laughs> you'd have to be on that leg from that, Austin to San Francisco, he screams spy, conspicuously he? <laughs> or yeah. inconspicuously right behind them. Judging I, them she, for see, their cleanliness. Yeah. That personality seems a little paranoid too. I'm surprised she didn't like notice you and was like worried about like what you're up. To. I think she's she, worried she about had, the germs. Yeah, she had a lot. She was focused on. Yeah. She had a lot going on at that it's moment. Right. They it's checked the hotel so fast. Like, everything she was doing is a waste. On a plane, it's filthy yeah. everywhere. The air is filthy. Yeah, it is. It you might as well just give up. But what are you gonna do? 
It's really so unfortunate. So you're the optimist, I see. Well, just, just relax, love. <laughs> just lick the armrest. It's you're really good. unfortunate that, <laughs> Build up an immunity. that story you told about that time the flight attendant woke you up on the plane. Oh, God. I wish that had happened on this plane. <laughs> One time I was asleep. And uh, I didn't realize I'd fallen asleep. The flight attendant shook my shoulder to wake me up to ask me I wanted food. And I opened my <laughs> mouth to answer, and my mouth was full of saliva. And I just, like, well, <laughs> I just, like, immediately just went. It, it was so bad, I had to get a shirt out of my carry-on and change in the bathroom. Because it was just, like, soaked through. It was like, Bleh. yes, chicken. Yes, chicken, please. <laughs> <laughs> and also, can I just explain the saliva? I was dreaming about chicken. I was dreaming about this yeah. moment of ordering it. That's why. Yeah, I, I, I opened my mouth. I said, I was hungry. Yes. I just drooled on myself. <laughs> 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 Did she laugh? No, she was just like, Oh, no. Like She's dead probably pen. seen it. She's dead inside like you. Did yeah. you do the thing where you tried to uh, save it and suck it in at the last minute? No, oh. no. It was too much. Like, it was like a waterfall. It just like, <laughs> It just like gushed out. There was, there was no pulling that back. You like in. you have a very wet mouth. I do. I, like I'll, I'll drool a lot. Does anyone else do that? Like no. I'll just be standing sometimes, and then all of a sudden I'll just drool. I think it's because you have to like chipmunk te- uh, cheeks. That I do. Else? I do the spit thing sometimes where I'm I, talking and I go like, like yeah. you see the little that's, fleck that's common, in yeah. the light. I just kind of did it right Does now. Does it ever land on someone's face? Story. I feel like I always have to call it out too. I feel like if I see it, yeah. I have to say, oh, sorry about the spittle. Like, nobody <laughs> might have even seen what I did. Do you, you give the them a little wrong. wipe, too? What's that? Like, I'm sorry, I spit on you. Do you wipe their face for them? It depends on who I'm spitting, whose face I'm spitting with. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like, yeah, yeah, pff, damn right. Yeah. And you just carry on your story. <laughs> <laughs> just make yeah, eye contact yes, with yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That was for you. Yeah, I've had to do that before where I've been talking to someone and I accidentally, like, a little fleck of saliva just lands on my <laughs> cheek. Oh. And it's, like, one of those situations where it's, like, you know it's Who's there. Who's going to call it out? They exactly. know it's there. It's so the I worst when, like, just when it lands decide. on someone's eye and they're, like, oh, I've never oh. Like had that before. <laughs> I've done that once. It's, like, I'll wait. I'll wait yeah. here while you saw that out. Um, I just spat on you. See, I'm that freaks <laughs> me out because one time I was having uh, just a normal teeth cleaning, completely normal. And Wait, you mean with a toothbrush or you're at the dentist? I was at the dentist. Oh, okay. A teeth that kind so of not, not a normal teeth. Not a normal teeth cleaning. The, dentist. <laughs> the every six to 12 months, that normal kind of teeth cleaning. And the dentist, she came at me with what looked like a welding mask. Like she was seriously mm. prepared. I, I, I probably told you about this years ago. And I was like, I was like, I've never seen anyone have like that much protection. And she like lifts up the shield and she's like, <sighs> She was like, I just got back from a conference, and the number one presentation was by a dentist who was working on a patient, and the patient had a cold sore, and doot, in the eye, and he got herpes in his eye, and it ate his eye out, inside his head. And oh. she goes, so now it's like, she goes, what and I'm just like, I'm fuck? over-prepared now, and I'm like, well, don't, why'd you tell me that? It's like, I'm, I, now I want stuff on my face, too, they when I'm at the, the dentist. They don't they? Well, but you're not worried about a speck of her of a dentist herpes but, getting into your eye, are you? Speak no, for yourself, I don't Zach. think so. I, the, the yeah, I feel like why the dude's herpes got into the dentist's eye was because he was using tools that would aggravate and spinning There's bits. There's also some people when they have thing, their right? mouth open that like saliva, like some. Oh, like a gleek. I mean, if you were operating yeah. on your dentist while they're operating on you, then I could understand. <laughs> That you'd want yeah. some but, kind of... But what if the dentist is like me and drools sometimes? Oh, randomly. okay, well then you're fucked. Yeah. Or what if you... <laughs> then you're fucked. Not that I mask. did, but what if you have your own cold sore? Could you get your own thing on the move? Well, that's what oh, I... Oh, shit, I, think, I never thought about that. I think your own cold I, sore. Because I've never even thought that a cold sore could get in your eye and eat your eye out. Plus, you're, like, you're probably <laughs> immune to your own... <laughs> now you Now it's in your head. <laughs> now that we're talking about it, yes. Yeah, you've got to be immune to your own brand of cold sore. I would think so. You probably you're already okay. immunized. Immuni- immuni- but just that friend. image in my head, I was like, ugh. Now forever, it I think. Ate his that. eye out. Never did I yeah. ever think I would be having a conversation about one's own immunity to their own <laughs> brand <laughs> of Acidic. herpes. Welcome I, to the Rooster Teeth podcast. Yep. You like this? Welcome to Rooster Teeth, everybody. You're talking like about herpes on, on the lip herpes. to herpes in the eye. <laughs> Will it eat them out? To herpes Stay on tuned. the clip. Oh what? damn! Finish things off. If you, I would. Well, I think we could have finished that eye. No. <laughs> no, too, too far. Just it's, yes and Zach. Just yes and. Yes and. The eye is too is too sensitive. And it's very sensitive. We need we need like to and we only get two of them. Protection. But they're pretty tough yes. too. They you seem like two they eyes. don't grow our entire life. They're the same size when we're an infant baby really? all the way. Yes. Yep. And you our know what never stops growing? Your nose and your ears. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. I, mean, I know keeps, shit. Your nose keeps growing. Shit. Your nose. Your nose and ears will keep growing. God damn it. Yeah, he's kind of fucked. What? What, am I, what am I gonna end up with? No, you're good, dude. You're good. You're good. Just gonna eat you're your good. entire There's... face. <laughs> There's no pain sensors in the eye, right? That's why they can like do LASIK and you don't feel it. No, I think it's gotta be in the eye. Yeah. Bernie, did you feel crumb. pain in your eye when you got LASIK? No. The hardest part about LASIK was the well, the pressure was weird when they push on your eye so much that your vision goes away, and then 
this is something that they did not prepare oh. me for when I got LASIK, which I tell everybody about when they're getting LASIK, is that they're, they're hitting your eye with the laser. You've got to be prepared for the smell of your own eye burning. Oh. That is not something they put in the oh, literature shit. that you're going to smell your own eye as it's scorched by this laser. And it's, it's a horrible smell. What do you think your eye smells like Mentally. when it's not burning? What's that? <laughs> you, want, you want me to smell your eye? I don't know. I can't tell. I want to smell your eye now. Let me smell your eye. Can, should I? Why don't we just switch spots? <laughs> this, this is when you're going to get the, well, the eye hurt. You know what? I'm just going to stay right here. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, you no, smell his eye. I'm not smelling his <laughs> eye. You can do this. We is just your met. Thing. You can't smell his eye. I'm just going to be here. And, no, seriously. You're not going to do it now? Well, he's too far. Get up. Lean over. I'm just going to be right here. Just smells like makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you did get that eye makeup. You did get that good eye makeup. Yeah. Got Do you right think you smell good? Wait, hold on a second. I have a question. You got LASIK, but you're wearing glasses. What? You have oh. LASIK. You got LASIK, but you're wearing glasses. So these what are happened? actually you're catching me on a good day. These are glasses that actually have lenses in them. A lot of times I don't even wear lenses in them. When we first started a lot of our different shows, I wore glasses for like eight years. I got LASIK. I stopped wearing glasses for six months, and I'm like, oh, eventually the internet comments will die down about me not wearing glasses. They never did. So I just, I have non-prescription so glasses not, that I wear. Oh, copy that. that. But I don't, I don't, fashion I don't, statement, y'all. I don't need no, that I feel anyway. like that's, Fashion statement, yo. I feel like that's for you. Like, if you if you really didn't want to wear glasses, you wouldn't. You, I, would, no, you wouldn't I, I, give in to internet comments. I think it's just no, part I just, of your I look. Mind, I don't mind them so much. It's, uh, it's, it's part of your look. I used to wear them when I would write, because it was like a like a ritual thing, and I'd wear them, and it's like I can see them in my peripheral vision. It helps me focus a little bit more. And it kind of extended from that into this, this <laughs> whatever. I like that it's blocking distractions, like this much little, material. Little blinders. Right. Little I, blinders. I feel like it's part of my character. So even when I wear contacts, I still wear glasses with no glass in them, like just the frame. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I didn't even know you had contacts. I don't. I, I almost never wear them. I only wear them when I'm like using VR for a long time. That way, like I can see everything fine. Have you considered a Things. monocle <laughs> or two monocles? I would you like just that. keep going back and forth. Things you only hear in 2016. <laughs> I typically only wear my contact lenses when I'm playing VR. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I'm diving deep into the uh, virtual deep world. Deep into the VR. Do you have glasses or contacts? I don't. No, I was born with completely perfect vision. Thanks, everyone. Oh, look at you. Me too. Really, that was great. But Rag not enough good vision to look uh, at the correct camera. I d well, look, so the red light was there, <laughs> and then it went over to three. It was camera six, <laughs> camera three. Camera six, <laughs> camera three. Camera six. So fast. Uh, hey, they four. You I got it. Hey. Hey, hey, well, hey make two. Sure, make sure you get hey, a six. Two. Dude, this is like its own little video game. Hold on a second. Do it. Go for it. Six, five, six, hey. four, <laughs> two. Oh, Shit, where'd it go? Oh, that's, 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 Damn you, you cheated! <laughs> three, all right, we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done, you cheaters. That was fun, though, right? They're gonna cut to one. That was fun, though. Yeah, three. Inside yeah, four. Your onesie. You're like, what happened? They'll cut to the toilet onesie camera. Onesie camera video games. You're welcome, guys, internet. You're, <laughs> you're welcome, internet. You're welcome. I'm gonna read this here. I wanna remind everyone, tonight's episode of Receipt Podcast is also brought to you by NatureBox. NatureBox makes snacks that actually taste great and are better for you. Yeah, created with high quality ingredients that are free from artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel great about snacking. NatureBox recently made their service even better. Now you can order as much as you want, as often as you want, with no minimum purchase required, and you can cancel at any time. It's simple. Go to naturebox.com, uh, check out their snack catalog. There's over 100 snacks to choose from, and they're constantly adding delicious new snacks. Choose the snacks you want. They'll deliver them right to your door. With NatureBox, you'll never get bored. There are new snacks each month, inspired by real customer feedback, if you try a snack you don't like, NatureBox will even replace it for free. Uh, right now, you'll save even more. NatureBox is offering Rooster Teeth podcast fans 50% off your first order when you go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. That's naturebox.com slash roosterteeth for 50% off your first order. Naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. It's right there. You can see it. Like a pro. And then the, the order is right under it. Right there. 50% off your first order. 50%. Thank you, NatureBox. Here's something that worries me about NatureBox and their sponsorship with them is that I feel like since you changed offices, I don't get to intercept the nature box shipment <laughs> as much as I was used to be able to. I used to be able to like cut it off at the pass, and then I'd pick all the good snacks out of it. I haven't seen it in like four months. Yeah, is Thank it going you. to your office? Yeah, son of a bitch. Are you getting it, Barbara? You can... No, I haven't gotten nature box in over a year. Probably. He's hoarding it. How many bags of nature box snacks do you have in your office? Zero. Really, like, you're pounding all the nature box. Eat them all. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I like how before the podcast, Zach asked if we could swear. <laughs> He's oh, like, yeah. You drop, you drop well, you got to make sure. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I don't want to fucking say anything. I don't want to. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> let it all out. Whatever, you, whatever your deep, dark secrets are that you haven't ever wanted to let out, just go for it. You guys ever wake up laughing? Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to use this moment to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake, you wake up, up no. laughing? <laughs> you ever do that? No. What? You, Have what? you ever done it? It's like the best feeling <laughs> in the world. That's you insane. woke up laughing? Fantastic non sequitur. Has anybody ever just wake up laughing? I've actually laughed myself to sleep. 
for what? sure. That's the activity of you like a madman. Yeah, if you get like giddy with tiredness and then you get to your bed and it's like, <laughs> oh, this is the best. <laughs> this is the absolute best. I just can't, I can't get enough of it. I'm laughing. Uh, I'm... Never had that? <laughs> Have you never been that tired? And you finally get into bed? Uh, kind of, yeah, I suppose so. Although I, I would imagine that alcohol had something yeah. to do with... See, I've, that I've been totally sober. I've got into bed and I've gone like... And I've like kicked my legs like this. I'm so excited <laughs> to be in bed. And I just go straight to sleep. Please, can we get that camera on Gavin's legs? Yeah, it's like really, the, you should really get that. Just little movements, just like this. Yeah, I should move that drink out my lap. Too. <laughs> so, I want to go back for a second here. I need to when, find more about this waking when, up Yeah, laughing. when did you wake up laughing? I do it on a regular basis. What are you on about? Like, probably three times a year, four times a year. <laughs> Ashley, have you ever heard me wake up laughing? No. I know. It's it's weird, but it's like, I'm having a dream where something's really funny in the dream. Are we talking like up. a... <laughs> or no, you like? I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I Are you serious? Wake up like, yeah, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. It's like for a when, lunatic, can you for a it, serial killer. Give us an impression. I, well, I'd be like sleeping, and I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> like, that's pretty much you get up to, <laughs> you get up to that. I go full. <laughs> oh, but do you ever wow. like yeah. come into consciousness and you're like, <laughs> this isn't funny? <laughs> like, are you ever just like, what am I laughing at? In no, the same like, way that you might think that you got killed in your dream and then you wake up and go, oh, I wasn't killed. <laughs> you can also wake up and go, well, that wasn't funny at all. Yeah, what was, what I, was I laughing? What was I thinking? That was the worst stand up comic. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever, other than like, oh, I guess, never mind. I can't ask this question. Somebody on Twitter tell me if you've woken up laughing. <laughs> wait, wait, go, said, go, go. Have go. you had an orgasm in your sleep? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm burning house on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> We've told this story enough times. I had a wet dream on a plane to Scotland. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> It was on my way back from Scotland. I like you oh. started that as like, I'm not telling this story again. I had a wet dream on a plane. I'm just summarizing. <laughs> we are not telling the story again. I had a wet dream on a plane. What else could you tell about I was about coming back from Scotland and all the... Oh, he was coming, all right. ...broguish men and their kilts. The dreams <laughs> have you that ever woken me up that night on my plane. Zach have you ever woken up laughing and jizzing? Laughing and jizzing. Yes. What? So I was flying next to one of my buddies too, and I'm fairly certain that I. Oh, the plot hand. thickens. The plot thickens. Turn it. The plot thickens. Oh my gosh. And they have a gentle squeeze. A gentle. No, no, that's a new, that's a new addition. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, I, that... It's the onesies. The onesies are bringing out the truth. I've told that story. Is it illegal? Safe. What is your I real name? Safe. I feel safe in here. Michael. Michael. It's actually not Bernie. Um, <laughs> oh my I, god. I, I, I had a. I'm like Sherlock. I woke up mad today. Does anyone else that ever wake up sense. mad? Like you I woke, woke up, up growling? mad. Because I had a stress dream about the podcast. What's your stress dream, What's buddy? stressful about this? I dreamt... They do all the stressful that work. That we were about to go live, and that I was mad at the control room, because they only counted down from 10. They didn't give any warnings before 10. So I was like, I had to run all the way across stage five. And as a result, I was like late. I got to my seat like right after the intro started. I sat down, and Bernie was here, but then the couch was empty. Oh. And I was like, where's Gavin? So I like I texted you and you were playing a, uh, a game on the Xbox and you didn't want to you were like, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'll be there in a few <laughs> minutes. And it's like everything was just going to shit, like nothing was going right. And I was like so I woke up like right in the middle of that. I was like, motherfucker. That's normal. I, think I just can't anything. imagine you actually being stressed about that. Like you would just start anyway. Yeah, but I wasn't here. I was late. Like I didn't uh, okay. I wasn't set up. Like I didn't have my ads in front of me, I didn't have Twitter open, didn't have There's like There's a lot that goes into producing a show. Yeah, all my stuff I like I, get I, your... I have a bone to pick with Gavin. Oh, Tell us about your run. We, we, How often uh, do you pick it? We started having a little fight before the <laughs> podcast started. What? <laughs> we had a fight. You guys had a fight? Yeah, me and Gavin had a fight. Like, like what, half an hour before the podcast? It got heated. Yeah. Not actually heated, but it was just like... Wait, like right now? Yeah. Yeah. I was getting berated about, oh. not, about not replying to emails. Yeah. So Gavin said when he gets an email and he doesn't reply, that should be taken as a no. Like, if, if I get an email, it's like... Do you want to do this? And I don't reply. That means no. Nope. If I say yes, that, that means yeah. That doesn't mean anything. No. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he does. You say no to stuff. You don't. You don't know if you received wait, wait, wait. it. Unless you specifically say, "Please reply yes or no." No. 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 Wait. Hear me out. That's what RSVP is about. If somebody says RSVP, that means I need to know numbers. So please at least say yes or no. But, but if you don't say, let me know yes or this no. This isn't like a party invite, though. This is like a production thing, a work thing. No. What have you emailed me? This production. <laughs> Me personally? Let's get yeah. into it, guys. Well, I've emailed you about social stuff we needed. Social like tweets that I need oh, from you. I've got I've got something to prove them wrong, Barbara, to back you up. Oh, go for it. Whenever I send you those just calendar invites for the podcast and you don't reply to them, but then I text you and you say yes. Yeah. But that's a different reason. Why? That's because the invites take me to the calendar app on my phone and I'm not signed in. Why aren't you signed in? I don't I can't figure it out. 
Or I can't just... stay signed in. Every time I accept a thing, it's like, you have to sign in again. It's like, I'm not going to do He also it. doesn't have a badge. <laughs> you don't? Or no, right. it's not don't, a badge with a picture. You lose your badge. <laughs> I mean, no, we should talk about it. it. Let's get but real, here's, guys. Here's, here's my thing. He saw my badge. He said, how do you get one of those? What? what? Can this man get a badge? If it's a yes, if it's a yes or no question, yes means yes, and anything else means no. 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 It's more efficient that way. No. Reply is the no. Englishers. Zach, this is how awkward this gets. He won't say no to anything. Like he just, he thinks it's too confrontational to say no. Like you'll say to him, "Hey, do you want to go get lunch?" And he'll go, "Well, lots of people have already eaten, haven't they?" That's <laughs> what, what does that even mean? mean? That's, e that's exactly how He's you would English. Have... Look. He's English. Look. Don't don't back him up. You're an artist. It's a little late, team. isn't it? Well, because because we won the Revolutionary War. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Come on, you fucking limey We're bastard. We're wearing the same onesie. <laughs> Look, if you get <laughs> if you get team. 150 emails in a day and you have to write no to each one, you're going to waste a lot of day. I could have read more emails. If I don't say anything, that Here's means I'm not though. interested. I don't want to do it. Fight, fight, You're fight, waste, fight, you might be fight, wasting more fight, of your time. Fight, You're fight, fucking fight, wasting fight, everyone fight, else's fight, fucking fight, time by fight. waiting for a reply from you. Well, what are they waiting on? If, if it's important, come and talk to me. That's, that's no a bad one has idea. time Look. for that. No, that's a Nobody bad idea. does anything. Don't that. come talk to me. I don't want to be bothered I'm with your sorry, actual physical you, interaction. You can't respond with no to an email. That's so rude. we have to ask you that's over rude. and over again. He so we have to Barbara. come over to your office to be like, Gavin, what the fuck? Why can't you answer Honestly, this? Barbara was like, just reply with no. The le there were two letters. That's 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 rude. It's better than no response. Google does autocomplete now too. You can even just say eh. No, sounds good. Sorry, you're in the middle of this. Buddy. No, I'm loving this. <laughs> okay, so this say, is like Sampras Agassi. I could go all day. This is just. <laughs> I imagine. Whoa, you get, fuck! You I imagine that you get sir, but that plenty, return. You get plenty of emails, right? Do you reply to all your emails? No, in fact, it's the I'm I'm very I'm very OCD about like uh, notifications on my screen. Yeah, yeah. My screen, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to clear all that. I don't want even a little red one. Not even a one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But emails get away from me. I, I'm, it's very difficult it's for me too to many. keep up on email. My, but my thing is, also, I feel like when now we live in this crazy time of mass, mass, mass communication where once upon a time, the only way you could even communicate with someone, even before written word, right, you had to actually see someone. Then we could write things, and then we could send things. And then after we could send things, it was a long time before we had another form of getting a hold of someone. Really like, like more scope, but phone. really like, like, yeah, telephone, right? Yeah. And then telephones Telegram. were pretty grounded in central locations for a long time. Like you had your house phone and then in your work phone. You had the phone. But so therefore, up until really, let's say, let's say 1990-ish, right? And before pagers, but up until like 90, the only ways that you could even communicate with someone were I see them, I write to them, and that was who fucking, even at that point, you were writing to people like every other month or something like that. Yeah, it's or weeks. you could call them. Yeah. But no one else could actually get a hold of you. No one could grab your time. No one can say, hey, I need you, I need this, I, or whatever that is. And by the way, sometimes that's a good thing, right? We can, we, we can communicate with someone who actually needs something. But now we're all beholden to an entire Facebook message system, an entire Twitter message system, an entire Instagram message system, Snapchat, all those things on top of just texts, phone, uh, phone calls, and writing. So yeah, my emails can get a little. <laughs> they, get, they, get, they, get, they, they go on the back because, burner because I feel like if I answer this, it's going to be a continued yeah. dialogue, and I can't handle that continued dialogue. I need to be able to just say no or yes, well, and that's the end of it. Well, but his, unfortunately, that's not always the case. Here's no. the problem with Gavin, though. <laughs> when he when he doesn't respond to an email, let's say production coordinator messages Gavin, "Hey, are you available to be in this show, the short, on Friday?" He doesn't respond. Yeah, that that should that should necessitate a response. But then. They don't get my a response. English friends. So the email again, creating two emails rather yeah. than uh, you saying no. If I know, no more emails. If I know I'm not available, I say no. If I don't know, I'll get back to you. I so don't always that. know. I don't know if I'm if I'm free that day. So say I don't know yet. Yeah. What does it worth? There is there is a social responsibility there. There is. Barbara, have you replied to every email I've sent you? I don't think you've ever sent me an email. So oh, yes. that's <laughs> really sad in a way. How many emails did you get today? Great turn. Today? Yeah. Probably around 150. How many did you reply to? Uh, if they were from work. Actually, I haven't responded to a lot today because I was showing this guy around. I Interesting. Okay. You so great form today. So you're kind of busy, busy with things. But you're going to reply to them. But I'm, I will the reply to them just because I didn't reply to them this second. I guess cross court. 
I don't like this game. <laughs> this game, I feel like it's one-sided. Email, it, I, I don't like email. There's too many of them. It's too much. It's you too much. Sit, you sit down, it's a lot you reply emails. to 50 emails, and you're like, ah, oh, there's like 20 new replies because I've just been emailing, and now people are emailing I'm just you. saying, your that laziness inconveniences a whole lot of people. I hate, too, when I'm making if a concerted effort to clear up my inbox. Yep. And I'm like, I know I'm like five days behind at this point. And it's like <laughs> That is true. And somebody says, Yeah. But only five. Yeah, right. And it's like it's only like I get an years. email saying, yeah. Hey Bernie, can you let us know on Tuesday? And I'm reading it on Friday. Can you let us know by Tuesday if you want to do this thing? And I'll say, uh, well, I replied after Tuesday, so it's probably not gonna be a possibility at this point. Right. And then I sit send, and then immediately they come back and they go, Thanks for letting me know. It's like Asshole, dude, you don't have to show me up that fast. Like, I know I replied four yes. days late. What are they doing? They're just sitting there waiting for a fucking just email? So you know. Because that's their job. Just so you know, that's, but that's just. their job. That's not all your job. You do all kinds of other things, right? But maybe their job is just to make sure they're trying to check in that fucking email yeah. that fast. By the way, that that is, the you move. should get yourself another they, assistant. They should man. go, yes, and they should go, I'll send this in about two hours. But your response there is just as worthless as me not responding. It still kind shows of, you yeah. just care. Kind of. he, he, he's acknowledging uh, that he received it. All he's doing, all you're doing, that's saving. Wasting. Is that saving face or showing that you care? That's just wasting your time call later. Me, You've me. already wasted theirs. Why don't say come later? Because it's a pointless response. Well, I just gave one example of that. Listen, we don't even know your real name, okay? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. I've just What's been lying this name? entire time. Ridiculous. But you do. You're about not... five days behind on most email. Your real name's not Levi. My real middle name is Levi. My last name is Pugh. <laughs> Zachary, Levi, Pew. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> or or Wikipedia. I mean, they could have checked <laughs> you out. You heard it here first. Are you it's, happy yeah. with your Wikipedia Break picture? anywhere on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. What is my IMDb I'm going to look it up now. I don't know. Just, in most people, it's just bunged on there by Gus, someone else. Guys. Guys. <laughs> get into that. <laughs> is it Geese? No, I think I, 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 Geese thing is good. Geese. Oh, you got a good If we're going to call you GYS, we should call you Geese. Good photo. Oh, nice. That's a good photo. I'm yeah. happy. Yes, that's pretty. That, that's that pretty looks the answer is I'm, I yeah. am happy with my Wikipedia I think photo. That looks like your IMDb photo, I think. Mine for a long time. I shaved my head once, and it was that for years. It was me like looking you like an idiot. Maybe that's your face. fan thing. Gu Shave your Gus's. head again. We want to see you. Oh, you should see Gus's Wikipedia, 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 Wikipedia photo. Buzzed it off. My yeah. Wikipedia one. I was pulling up my. I don't know that I have a head for it. You know, like I don't. I definitely. People have heads for like a shaved head or a mine's lumpy. Yeah, I'm. I'm scared to find out. Oh, we should. I don't know if I fully shave my head. What that's going to look like. What's the one of you in the costume? Oh, no, Look at all that drool enough. coming out of your mouth. That's incredible. <laughs> Even in your one. photos. That's IMDb. from your IMDb. That, Apple Switch. Switch. that is one of the best IMDb photos I've ever seen. Can we show the camera? I think they could probably pull it up. Did they pull it up? They, they should pull up Gus's IMDb. It page. is fantastic. Go to his IMDb. Pull IMDb, the not Wikipedia. By the way, we're on uh, hashtag Rishi Podcast if you want to... Hashtag RT Podcast. What did I say? Hashtag RT Podcast. Oh, uh, I did. Hashtag Does RT anybody podcast. else want to say that? Ha hashtag RT Podcast? Hashtag we're at the podcast. hashtag... Hashtag, hashtag RT, RT Podcast. When you look down, it shadows your face and you do look quite Sithy. That's you look good. like uh, Michael Phelps. Did you say Sithy? Sithy. Sithy. <laughs> Moves the you force. do look a bit siffy over there. Somebody sent me a. Uh, do you have, Patrick, do you have that image? Moves that the force. Did you get that image? Moves no, no, no the reply. force. <laughs> Did anyone it else hear this? No. That is fantastic. Someone, said, <laughs> someone, someone said that to me. That is Jet Fur on Twitter. That's awesome. At Arrow Jet Art. They yeah. just made that. Yeah, Moves just made the that. Force. It, I don't hey, wear this on a regular talented basis. person he just called out. You just made that sketch in like five minutes. That's damn, real good. God damn. He says, got sidetracked from the damn drawing it, I was working on. Moose the force. So there moves the force. What? That's what she just said. Yeah. Great yeah. minds. Great minds thinking alike. Great minds think alike. But only one of them sketches. Yeah, only one of them talented. The other one is just sitting around in a fucking she onesie. She can draw a mean dick though. She can also draw a nice dick. You heard it right here, folks. I actually did that today. You heard it right here, folks. Gavin never studio. replies to it though. What, what what do you mean? You drew dicks? Yeah. Oh, okay. I went to the animation studio today to record some uh, Ruby and uh I christened Give me some yang? Uh, some yang, see? Some yang! Look, I taught him well. Dude, this place is She a... got up in her yang today. I did. This I is ghost town now. Yanging out. Can we talk about that spoiler alert stuff? Do you ever talk about the spoiler alert stuff? Oh, about the... What uh, happened to yo, you know? In the last season? Yeah, girl. I know. We showed him like two scenes from Ruby, one of which yeah. was like Already a fan. This volume, Already a fan. And the other one was... Uh, Shotgun gauntlets, please. Who doesn't want shotgun gauntlets? Are you going to be in it? I don't know. Nobody's asked me. Oh, awkward. damn. Well, Camera uh, six. Switch the uh, subject. I didn't realize they had numbers on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. you, really? 
<laughs> what's what's one? Did you teach you everything about your podcast? <laughs> Which one is camera one? There is no one. I one is like the jib over here, two. I think. There's it's one two, in the three, room. Yeah, one's the control four, room. five, six. One's control room. One is oh, the, I see. Oh, control room gave themselves number one. Don't worry. Oh, it, we get it. It's, it's, the, it's the worst camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible. Hey, you know what? Cheers, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers <laughs> to the control room. The first camera they use. Yeah. Makes sense. It is. It's, it's the free show. Yeah. One is the webcam in That's the back. That's the tailgate. Who was it that had those Snapchat glasses today? Oh. Andrew. I'm, I, how do those things work? Are they any good? You put them on like this. Bring them over. <laughs> so Spill Andrew, I, 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 I didn't passed, have to burp that into my microphone, I passed, but I thought <laughs> it was appropriate. Uh, walking down here, and it made me think about the Snapchat spectacles. So I walked past him, and I went to Barbara. I said, "I never thought I wanted Snapchat spectacles until I realized they were hard to get." She's like, "Oh well, Andrew's got them." Now what is, what this, is, this, is thing on? this is a charger case. What's the okay. button on it? The button it's to charge it. It's to charge it. Charge, charge button? You put it in the case to charge it. The button shows you the charge level on the case. Yeah, share your mic with Zach. By the, way, <laughs> by the way, nice nice color choice, too, if I might be Why so bold two as to say. Ooh. I feel like this is Miami circa 1986. I feel like... It feels very Snapchat. So it, it feels has to very indicate? Snapchat. It feels like, They you make know, you go to a vending machine to get them. Yeah. Put them on. Has anyone joked off in machine yet? was in uh, New let York me just, today. Give me a second before I step into the future, okay? <laughs> Jesus. And that's when he got eye herpes. Wow. <laughs> that's wow. Gonna, that that's was gonna, the gonna moment. Eat your eye <laughs> it's the same. It's part of my story now. I pressed the button. Yeah. It's not doing anything yet. No, you just hold it once or click it once. I clicked it. Now it's filming. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, it's filming right now. Look around. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that means that it's going. Dude. Okay. But hang on a second. Is there no AR no, built no. into this? <laughs> No. What do you want from it? No, Wait, hang on a second. I thought the doing. whole point of this shit was that I could look through these lenses and you're now wearing the deer faces and the weird butterfly tiaras. No, no? this is so you can Co record your life and nobody knows it. I like that your first Ma snap, your first no. snap with spectacles was you taking them off, looking in them, and being annoyed at them. That was great. Absolutely. Can now I do, I do like it? the fact that it does show when it's recording yeah. very clearly. Like, that's uh, nice. Or that is no, nice. That's nice. But it's weird oh. though because it's recording with the right and it's telling you it's recording with the left, right? You, you know the thing you're gonna hate so, about so it. So people are gonna be looking over there instead of looking at that. Or are there two lenses? No, no, it's just one. You know I'm sorry, that's a design flaw, guys. I I love you, but honestly, it's come on. something that's missing though is from smartphones because I always feel like when I'm somewhere like, like if I'm backstage somewhere and I'm periscoping or live streaming from my smartphone, I walk up to people and the first thing I always say is. This is live. I'm live. Yeah. I'm live streaming a lot. Oh yeah, there was like a little red light that was next to your white light or something right. that said this is recording this something. This is right live now. Yeah, right yeah. now. I want one yeah. that just says applause on the top. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what you're gonna hate about it? It films circular video. This does? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I heard about this. This film circular video? And Andrew told me why. Design but, flaw, guys. No, didn't Design they say flaw. like why Explain should people this. what was it? Yeah. Because your vision is a rectangle. So Andrew's response was that, and we've also been watching no, things in a rectangle for a really it's long time. It's the people time. who made the spectacles. Snapchat says, why you should have... people have to view in a rectangle? <laughs> but, I mean, if anything, have two circles. You got two eyes. No. Solid points. You got like a figure eight. Point Sampras. <laughs> what does the other thing, what does the other little Tim Henman. bit do? Is it only one Tim bit that Tim records? Tim Henman? Yeah, yeah, one record. Tim Henman, really? He's English. Going. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, like Well, what about your most recent Scott who's playing for England? Andy Murray? thing. What? Wait, uh, the other side. No, and then look at Bernie so he can see it. So the one on the his right eye is recording. Yes. Yeah. And his left eye no, is telling me it's recording. That's yes. his left eye telling you it's recording. That's yes. his right eye that's recording. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what, what he said. said. No, that's not what he said. Let's play, go the to the tape. play the tape. Hey, go to the recording <laughs> when I said it. So let's go back and listen to it. <laughs> oh, please, should we? Yes, we should. Camera three. <laughs> for the money. Gavin, those look good on you, too. I'm telling you, it's a good color, they, right? They fit his nose, surprisingly. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like Don Johnson would have dated a girl who wore glasses like that on See, Miami Vice. Mm -hmm. Andrew, every time they push the button, is it posting to your Snapchat? It's not posting. It's just, I do get it, though. Oh, so there, you put, oh it's so not you actually posting? Up. Can you set it up to actually you have an example post? of what no, it looks I think like? It looks, it looks so, so stupid. It looks camera. dumb. It works on Snapchat, though, because you could tilt it. Like, it doesn't Dude, come up a circle. I'm, it's I'm a peephole. This I'm is the worst steady to... cam I've ever seen. It is. It's such a How did this guy get into the union? They made it look like a peephole. They're going to bring out a phone with a circle screen on it. Nope. Made it look oh, like a we... people. That oh. just Snapchat makes a round phone. That'd be the best ever. Game changer. Game changer. Oh. Who wants it's a, a round disc phone? It's a puck. Familiar people. People. <laughs> and before it stops, you can hit it again to extend the video. So like it records ten seconds, but if you're getting close to the end, you can hit it again. Oh, interesting. And it'll go add another ten seconds. Hello. Hello, Clarice. So how many people have jerked off wearing them? Andrew, yeah. how many times have you jerked off wearing it? 
<laughs> he said, "Oh that my god, that seven, <laughs> Andrew." Yeah. Andrew is pure. What's really, what's really interesting, I think, is that the case you put it in has a battery, so you can charge it on the go. You don't have to plug it in. Like you charge that, then this charges from there. That does need well, to be some feedback do here. I don't know. Like, do that. There needs to be some indicator that you can read or like here's what's happening. It's kind of just. You yeah, she's saying AR. Like You're like just using saying. it as a camera. Yeah, and yeah. using your. Head. But I'm with you. I want. I want. I want a little bit extra. Well, I just thought, look with. I want to be able to see the filters. By the way, have y'all watched Black Mirror? I'm. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm watched hoping some of it. If you do, watch every single episode of Black Mirror, they're I jumped not around. all. They're was That's that? Fine. I jumped That's around. Fine. Totally fine. Except they're the last two episodes. They're, they're not three, all. They're, they're not all as good as each other. They're all very different, but all kind of in the same world. But every single one of them, regardless of their production value or storytelling. I still think every single one need to be watched by people right now because these are these are all cautionary tales of what's about to happen to us mm-hmm. on every level, mainly technology, but are how they, that affects society and, and humanity. Are they filmed in a circle or just <laughs> standard rectangle? <laughs> standard Pretty rectangles. standard rectangle. Standard. Pretty standard rectangle. But at the end of the day, all this shit, like this is this is terrifying. Yeah. This is terrifying. This is the first fruits of what's going to happen. To all of you kids that might be watching right now that are that are pretty young and like this is your deal, I totally understand. Just beware that if this becomes your reality and you're not actually interacting with human beings anymore, then humanity is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's gonna be like Wally. We're just gonna all I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Then we're all doomed. Did, well, it's so Orwellian. Wait, we'll all look great in our butterfly tiaras as we oh, all just yeah. are fucking rearranging deck chairs, deck, deck chairs on the Titanic. Deck chairs. Deck chairs. Deck chairs. Well, we, deck chairs. We, we were talking about Titanic, George Orwell, 1984. Yes. That he's How about Aldous Huxley, A Brave New World? That's a great one too. Okay. That one's way more pharmaceutical, but yeah. Well, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. But. Are we going to question the big pharma's not one of the three most contributors? I to mean, I, he we're going to get deep, guys. He predicted one of your, one of your sponsors is not anyone from Big Pharma, right? We can no, do no. this. No, no. Listen, Big we Pharma, stop making us zombies and killing us. Thank you. If we just said yes, we'd have been like, oh, Big Pharmacy's great. Yeah, that's <laughs> we're all cool with it. Love, love How much of those things? But like in Georgia, this Wilson, episode of the RT <laughs> podcast brought to you by Viagra. <laughs> One thirty. One thirty. See, and it's a good price point. Not bad. I mean, kids will literally. How many kids? A lot of money. Hey, let's take a let's take a vote right now. How many kids this Christmas, this Christmas, are going to get their parents to get them these glasses? What is this? They're 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 hard to get. No, they're they're coming out with. Are they going to be hard to get by Christmas? I don't think they. they, I don't think that's an oversight for them. They're coming out with the store, aren't they? There's going to be yeah. a bunch Store of videos York. and snaps on Christmas Day of, of people's but, parents, yes. and that's going to be it. And yeah. they'll never use them again. No, no, it's not true. They're going to be wearing them all the time. So you're saying, what is the hot item this All the time. This, this what would you guess Christmas? the hot item for Furby. this Christmas? Furby. Like, if you... <laughs> Furby. <laughs> like the Furby, or the, uh... What was the other one a couple well, of years ago? By the way, how the me fuck? Elmo. Why, why... D- what, what do you think? Tickle, Tickle me Elmo. Me Elmo. We're, we're, these are classic ones. What that's is the version of that this year? I'm telling you, this, that... You think it's that? Um, what are you kidding me? Everybody wants to have that. When was Every the, kid thinks that's the future, and what? it and they're not wrong. The hoverboard was last year. But it's the bad year, future. Right? Yeah. Yes. The, the little like... dopey NES, which uh, has yeah. thirty yeah. games yeah. on it. Yeah. Dude, there's people selling those for like three grand on eBay right can now. Can I? Can I say? Something? Go I ahead. Can I say something? Go ahead. I, 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 I feel like this is a total fucking shakedown. Like they couldn't fit more than thirty games on that thing. That's <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> dude. Yeah, but that's bullshit. I love Nintendo. I mean, die hard since well, I'm this big, but that's a bullshit move. Also, they couldn't make more of the damn things. That's Nintendo for yeah. sure. Yeah. Remember the I mean, Wii? The Wii was out of bullshit. stock for like 18 yeah. months. This, yeah. this is a console that is 30 years old, and they can't make enough of them. But it's by the way, calculator. but also a console that's fucking dying right now. They their stock share is not as good as Microsoft and yeah. and Sony. They should have been just I, being like, yo, let's go for it. Let's give everybody think, the, the history and the memories. I think the and Switch is going to them, though. Like, you can't fit more than 38-bit games into that can. thing. And maybe give me Listen, a wireless controller. Write Come them on. an email. Write them an email, and if they don't respond. Why write them then an you, email? No. I can just <laughs> tell them on camera three or six. <laughs> or you can send <laughs> them a that circular quick. Snapchat. Come on. It was, it was very quick. Come on, Gavin. It, it was, was very quick. Hey, Patrick, can I make a request for next week? Can we get a circular camera? Just one of them. Just one circular camera. One big. Can we just do? One big matrix array, so it's just all happening <laughs> in 360. The yeah, whole but time. lenses are circle. Whoa. I want to point out too, Ash. Can you go, can you go grab the controller? <laughs> you just put a map. So the to lens. make a yeah. circle image, though, they're not using a circular sensor, I assume. I don't have they're probably just cropping the whole thing. Right. Yeah. 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 That, that would be the easiest way to do it on these. Put just get, like, cut black construction <laughs> paper and fucking put a circle and put it. People, over the lens. yeah. Uh, here, let me read this while Ashley goes to get that. They should do it in post. One of mine. Yeah, you can do that post too. Or live. Want to remind everyone, this episode of Rusty's podcast is also brought to you by Squarespace. 
With Squarespace, sites look professionally designed regardless of your skill level. There's no coding required. They offer intuitive, easy to use tools to help you along the way. And you get a free domain name if you sign up for one year. Start your free trial site today at squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use offer code roosterteeth. Get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, build it beautiful. I was actually looking at a, a, a restaurant's website the other day and, I, uh, and I, I realized that it was a Squarespace page. I was like, this, this, this website looks really good. Uh, and then I, I, uh, like I viewed the source to see what, how they made it, and sure enough, it was in there, Squarespace. So if you own a restaurant, you can even make your, your restaurant site. Uh, using Squarespace. Bunged up a video today, Gus. Bunged up a video? Bunged up a oh, the, the Battlefield one. The Battlefield one, Finally yeah. came out. It was pretty good. I, I was pretty most, good. I was, like, in my mind, I thought <laughs> about this a lot, right? Like, I used to play the Red Baron game a lot when I was a kid, and it was like a World War I, um, like, flying shooting game. So I thought a lot about how the gun would shoot between the propeller, and I would have thought a lot more bullets went through between the propeller. Like, I would, I imagined, like, a stream of bullets that stopped for the propeller than yeah. a stream of bullets. It, it's, it's so cool how much, in slow-mo, how much free space there is between each rotation. Like, you really have quite a lot of time to throw a bullet through there. And it seems like it waits till the last second a lot of those times. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that was just the way the guys made it. We mm. also couldn't run it at full speed because that would have been really dangerous if it flew off, and it also probably would have tried to take off and, like, move yeah, down the range. Forward. But it was, I thought it was a cool demonstration of that tech yeah how it worked and also uh I, I was surprised at how when i say it how not violent the impact with propeller was like when you finally yeah try it i was expecting like a huge like well you would think explosion. as well because it's moving it would be it would like tear it almost yeah or if the if the propeller would hit the bullet the bullet's just so fast it, the bullet doesn't even know that the propeller is moving yeah it just treats it just like a stationary piece of wood i think you mentioned that right yeah. it looks like it's yeah, just, it's like, just like just staying holes. there yeah, yeah it, was, it was it was really really cool to see i thought uh it's something i've always been interested in in fact i think before they figured out the uh the sync gear uh to to synchronize that kind of stuff what they would do is they would just hammer on bigger pieces of wood on the back of the propeller and if it got hit, it would just deflect <laughs> off. And then they figured out that they should synchronize it so that it's not actually hitting it. Yeah. I'm, we're, Dan and I are always like, fascinated by just old tech. Right. Like that's, that's great. That's tech that's over it's 100 years old. Innovation. Hey, guess real quick. What kind of restaurant was he going to? Uh, sushi. Thai. Not Mexican, right? Sushi. Thai. You say Thai. You say I'm going to say Indian. I'm going to say Thai. Steak. I believe the answer is Thai. Pizza. Fuck oh! Off. Why are you going to a, a website for a pizza place? I've never place? been to this particular pizza place, so I want to see what they're doing. What are you was. doing with your time? That's a good The rest point. of us can't answer emails. You're looking up pizza places in I'm, the I'm looking up pizza places and I'm answering my emails. So I'm Zach all said, over it. You Zach said this me. should have, this is the Nintendo 30 game piece of junk. The NES Classic. Not he, piece of junk. He, he, he also not said, it. I'm not saying it's a piece of junk. <laughs> also, no, no, I, I want to make this very clear. It was a piece of junk. I want to make this very clear. I want to make this very clear. I'm not saying it's a piece of junk. And I'm also, and We're this is here. not just being diplomatic, Nintendo, I love you. I've really enjoyed your products for many, many years. I've owned all of your systems. I think this particular they don't watch move, this podcast. whatever, yeah. I think this particular move required a little bit more forethought uh, but in order to make some Look how really short that cord is. They've already Imagine put a lot of games. That. It's like, well, no, oh, why is it that controller? short? Well, you're HDMI, so hopefully you've got a long enough HDMI. What are you going to do? Sit right? right? You're running your HDMI <laughs> cable yeah. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look how close you guys sit. Yeah, by the way, this yeah, this is uh, Nintendo design flaw. Uh, hashtag design flaw, because <laughs> people uh, people now have <laughs> massive televisions. We're not sitting in front of a 13 inch television anymore. How big is your TV? How many? How big is mine? <laughs> yeah, Gavin. I knew we were gonna get into this. He's leading you into a conversation. Um, it's not the size. Of the 60. TV. All right. 60. Well, see, that would, yeah, that'd be this too would big, be Gavin. Bad. This would be really bad because I'm now looking up at a 60 inch screen, and that's not good for my eyes. How big is your TV, Gavin? Eighty-five. Gavin, 85? Gavin bought a football field-sized television. It was like he moved into a new place, and he just went nuts. His football is, fields are only eighty-five it was inches. Massive. It was the massive. hell have I been watching all my <laughs> life? It was a foosball size. <laughs> <table. laughs> uh, oh, was, now we're down to foosball size. Somewhere in between. Look, I heard in a the very interesting fact recently about size. I don't know how true this is. <laughs> yes, it is about size. Go ahead. About Barbara. how technically they don't actually. Uh, punish anyone for this, but it's technically illegal for people to watch the Super Bowl on a TV bigger than 55 inches. Duh, what? Have you heard this? No, I think there's supposed okay. to be some kind of licensing fee that's involved with that. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's yeah. some type of law. Or it might be in bars. Like, Surely if you watch it you on your own at home, they can't fee. police yeah. that in any way. They can't. They, can't they, they don't, it. but it's technically uh, Welcome illegal. to America. Uh, eventually, we're all going to get policed in our homes yeah. doing certain things, which is really Because exactly. everyone's going to have those fucking Snapchat glasses. That's why. They'll be Snapchatting everything you do. 
1984, the dude had one camera and a mic in his house, and it ruined his life. I got like 40, and I paid 200 <laughs> bucks a piece for them. Didn't and now people the... are lining up at vending machines to carry cameras and mics wherever Didn't they go. Didn't you do the thing where you got the little tiny Alexas, but you got like six of them? I got the, the Alexa dot. That's a is, mic is everywhere. This, do, can we find out, is this a uh, regulation size controller? Is that normal? Just, is yes, it? you're much bigger well, than the last feels, time you used it. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm asking, because it feels a little smaller, but then I was like, I, it might be the same thing. It also feels like you it know, might be a little maybe thicker. you just got bigger. Okay, well, we just went over that. <laughs> What? You really are dead inside. I'm not even paying attention. You don't even care anymore. <laughs> you don't even care. But I will say, aesthetically and even tac tactile logically. Nailed is it. that a is that a word? It is now. Uh, thank you. Tactologically? Sure. Tactologically. Yeah. It does feel like a good classic NES. Can controller. I can I feel? Yeah, she, yes, you can feel it. Oh, the would you like to feel so would you like to feel my you, controller? You are correct, know. your joystick. You are correct, Barbara. Uh technically you shouldn't be watching it on a TV over fifty five inches. Why? Bam. What? Uh, I like bam. all the ads are like, oh, get your four K TV in time it's, for the Super Bowl. I got it from Patrick. US code Title seventeen, chapter one, section one ten. T V broadcasts and movie showings can only be displayed so long as no such audio visual device as a diagonal screen greater size greater than fifty five inches and any audio portion of the performance or display is communicated by means of a total of not more than six loud Wait, 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 okay, okay, okay. Wow, when seven was that passed? Out. When was that passed? Uh, I, I, I saw it in 2010. I don't know what if you passed. watch it on a big TV and stand really far away? <laughs> That's a law that needs to change. There's another law that needs to change that ruins something Barbara and I used to do all the time. Uh, that... Coitus with goats? There you go. Yeah. How did you know that? Watching TV Because I cinema. know you guys. We used to go to, Zach, you like Austin, Texas, right? I love Austin, Texas. Great theater chain here called the Alamo Draft House. Theater. Love Alamo Draft House. Ah. They used to do this thing where we would go watch Breaking Bad and mm. Walking Dead. We would go just watch two oh, yeah, episodes yeah. back to back. Yeah. Every single Sunday, we'd yeah. go do that. And you get food and beer and whatever, and you're watching with a bunch of other people who love Breaking Bad or love Walking and Dead. And they paid for the license fee? No, no, they shut them down. They shut them down. They said, you can't do that. Well, well that's because, because you got to pay for the fucking license fee. We, it, are there people that still do that? Because I think the Alamo could definitely afford that license fee if they wanted to. Uh, they I'm weren't not charging only, Not for only it. can... Oh, well, they weren't charging. You would buy food and booze, but they wouldn't charge tickets, uh, right? Yeah, uh, but that starts getting into gray, gray, area. Area. That's, gray area. That's gray area. Like, well, in you that case, you're, if you're, using, you if you're that? using somebody else's product or thing to drive traffic to, who, to what you're doing and, and use that to actually make money, then I think they have a grievance. They have a, a reasonable grievance to say... You should license this product. And Maybe it's a half half fee. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I mean, particularly if you're charging four tickets to watch that thing, you have to pay a license fee. Mm -hmm. That's totally illegal mm -hmm. to not do I, that. I, no, so I totally agree. And, and like, a lot it, of does people HBO working. have that license fee as well? Like, could they do Game of Thrones? Did they pay enough? I don't know, but maybe it needs to become a new thing. Maybe, maybe I there, agree Maybe with that. there aren't those halfway license fees. I, I don't know. The weird thing is, too, is, like, people have different rules for that. Like, I know people who would never pirate anything. They work in the film industry. They, they hate piracy. They would never pirate anything. And then TV to them is a totally different category. They're like, well, I, have t I pay for my cable subscription, so it's fine if I... Well, but that's because, stuff. That's that's because network shit. television has been free since its inception, right? right? We have an idea of television because of what's been pumped into our homes for 60 plus years. I mean, how, I, mean I don't know. Yeah, probably. Gus, <laughs> guys, guys, help <laughs> me out. When was the first television broadcast? Yes. Um, and for, you know, for decades and decades and decades and decades, Americans and really the world, you know, we have this idea of television or series, which is free. So it would stand to reason that you're not going to feel bad about pirating something that feels like television or that is television. September 11th, 1928. 1928. Wow. Holy 11. fuck. That's almost... Uh, almost 100 years. That's almost coming 90 years? We're coming up 80, 100 years 80, pretty soon. Coming up. John Logie Bad. Did I do my math right? I don't know. No, almost 90. You no, said no, 60. 90. But that's close. Almost 90. I said almost 90. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, no, after I said almost 90. I said 60. That's why I asked. You were spitballing. Guys, you're the best. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Um, but at the end of the day, right? So you get conditioned for that shit. So, But everybody's got to understand you, you can't anymore because there's premium shit. Everybody's paying for it. By the way, everyone's getting into this whole subscription thing, which is great, but what happens when all of these cord cutters who are like, I'm not paying 80 bucks for my DirecTV, and then they're gonna cut all their cords, and then they're gonna resubscribe to everything for $2, and they're gonna be at like $120. Well, and you go, pick, wow, but then you pick what you want. You pick, yeah. you, you okay, but you're subscribe. you're not even just, like, to me, Apple, at least they're going a la carte. At least it's like, I want to own that movie, I want to own that movie, I want to own that album, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Everything else is subscription, so you're well, getting... Well, Apple Music isn't that way. It's not. 
nor Spotify, but I mean, they're competing on that music mm. level, right? Yeah. Well, here's the here's the problem. They're too, the that, only they're the only like movie TV system that's a la carte. As well, we, Xbox as we Video. Lose, uh, sure. Yeah. Although you do need Xbox Live to do that, which is fifty dollars a year. I think you do. Think as you do. we lose the broadcast television model, and we lose what essentially are shows that get programmed. Not because they're profitable and a ton of people watch them, but because they're in the public interest. It's funny because you're a cow. Sorry. Who the hell is gonna? <laughs> who the hell is gonna go out and subscribe to PBS? They're not gonna do it. Can that just be the quote of the night? It's funny because you're a cow. Because <laughs> you're a cow. Oh. I mean, nobody's nobody's gonna do that. And it's like with the election. Kind of pretty amazing. One of the big talking points has been Stop. is that everyone lives in this echo chamber where they just fantastic. seek out their own information that supports their current view. Mm -hmm. And one of the good things about the broadcast television model is at least it exposed you, maybe not straight away, but on an ancillary basis, exposed you to ideas that you normally would not have been exposed ideas to. Ideas like what, though? Well, you, I'd see PBS broadcasts. Like when I was a kid and I'd watch cartoons, they'd have the breaking news like for kids and all that stuff. I'm like, I don't want to fucking watch this. But at least I learned about stuff, you know what I mean, when I watched it. PBS? Yeah, well, PBS would do. CBS would break in with new stuff. Name another or, one. Or I'd watch Sesame Street. And PBS. Then, and then you'd leave PBS on, and then there'd be a documentary like Nova or something or like that. Something, yeah, but right, that. Yeah. But but we're losing we're losing that a but, little bit. But no. But hold on a second. If you want PBS like, is not even affiliated with or in the same world as NBC, CBS, ABC, and Fox. OBGYN. Those OBGYN. <laughs> Those guys, I, by the way, I've just realized on this monitor that this bottle is sitting like right. <laughs> by the way, you've always got one too. Here, go ahead. Th there you go. Yeah. Twins. There you go. That's 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 that, that's what's happened. That's that's just that's just what's happened. It's the first Folks, podcast run out of get your minds out of the gutter. So the uh, I'm being told <laughs> the hot toy this Christmas is going to be Hatchimals. What are Hatchimals? Oh, are those it's, those little egg things that like peck out of their egg? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You buy it. It's an egg. With a, an animal in it, and it hatches. At That's one a point. furby. That's but a come hatches. on, it's a down new. You have a, yeah, you have an animal. Yeah. Every year it's a furby with a different name. It's, it's Furby 2.0. point. I'm telling you that NES thing is going to be. That's you, it right dude, there. Dude, it's going to be huge. Buy as many of those you wait, can. Wait, wait, hold on a second. How much is this again? Thirty. That is sixty dollars. Uh, sixty dollars. MSRP. If you can get it. Yeah. If you can get it. Yeah. How much of those glasses? One hundred and thirty. One thirty. And I guarantee you. Maybe I'm wrong. No, but you I guarantee you. <laughs> Snapchat and whoever they're working with, as far as who is their like actual production vendor, they're making gang loads of those glasses right now. They will be available online and in their stores. No one will be missing the Here's opportunity. Here's the issue, to buy though. One of those. I totally that, agree with you. That is timeless, right? Because that's thirty years old already. Those PAP sunglasses will be better in like a year. So people might be like, oh, wait they for the will second be, one. No, they'll the buy them again. For 130 bucks, they'll buy the new one. And I guarantee you, Nint more guarantees. By the way, I'm just full of guarantees, folks. <laughs> more guarantees. Nintendo saying, no, we just want to do the 30 games and the thing. It's not going to be upgradable because a year from now, they will also try to sell the one that has 60 games on it. But and that's, that's why gotta, I'm fucking pissed off. They got Nintendo. Keep... The games have been around forever. Well, they're eight look, fucking bits. You know, they've done the work Put on them. A thousand in that thing. <laughs> but then their, their price per game I have would be a like phone. six cents. I have a phone that fits more games <laughs> than that. But you buy every and game. other things. Fight, fight. For the fight. record, uh, we are not backing up any of your guarantees. Uh, the guarantees. Oh, whoa, are not Rooster the Teeth will podcast. not back up any of these guarantees. Do you think two bucks all right. per all right. game is too much? Two bucks per game? For those games, yes. Yes. Two ah. bucks? Two yeah, bucks. Video games don't increase in value. Sorry. They're classics. They don't I think it should value. be as much as an app. No, but here's they the thing, though. decrease rapidly. No, no, here's the thing. This, anybody who loves classic NES, anybody who really, really loves classic NES, might have already considered the idea of just buying a classic NES and having a lot of those games. Right. You can. And by the way, and what do those cost in a, a second-hand store? Yeah, more than Let two me bucks. ask you this. I, I played Skyrim on Xbox 360. Why the Christ did I just buy it again on Xbox One? Tell did, me. Because you got the re. Why did you? Was it remastered? Because you got the remastered edition. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks better. It's a different game. It, it looks this is not same. looking any better. It looks. Well, it's, no, it's, it doesn't look the same. So, it looks the same. Have you played it? There's a little bit more I foliage. Think we're getting away from the point. <laughs> There is a little bit more foliage. Also, I'm not going like to be honest. Nice, crisp There's more trees and he, bushes. He's not and nearly that sophisticated. 
that what that is, is going to be nice new HDMI Different crisp app. image. It won't be the like the gammy. Analog. You don't want the crisp image on the eight bit. Yeah, it makes it look even. No, it's like turning the lights crisp... on in a fucking nightclub. It's up <laughs> You go, oh bit. my god, look at what happened. I think, look, yeah, they did do some work on them. I bet that's going to look way better. But they didn't change the graphics overall. It looks no. the way you remember it. Just get right. The but does it feel the way I remember it? Does it feel the way I remember it? Speaking of Furby, you can get an actual Mister. I don't know your name. Connect. <laughs> Did you oh, ever have down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. B, Super A, start. Contra, by the way, is on there. Oh. Super Contra is on there. Yes. Is regular Contra on there? I don't believe it is. It is, it? is not. Wait, 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 wait. Might be a gap in the licensing. Wait a minute. Hold the fucking presses. They're selling this Hold the and presses. they're offering you <laughs> Super Contra and not OG Contra. How do you go that, back? There could be two million games on this, and if they're not giving you OG Contra, but that's, oh, that's super, a massive fail. Wasn't Super that's a Contra massive, on the Super Nintendo? I'm out. This I'm out. Called, this is called Super C. That's super it. C was on Super Nintendo. How are you going to play that game? Oh, actually, Super Nintendo still only had oh, a directional, but they had four buttons. That's true. All right, would you like the list of games? No, this is bullshit. There's no yes, regular I Contra. Would. That looked like Super There's Pro Protector. There's no regular Contra? I really want to slap you with this coaster. There's no regular con Playoffs? <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the 22 titles that are common among all regions of the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. Balloon Fight, Castlevania, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon 2, Not Dr. One. Mario, Excite Bike, Not Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Super C, Super Contra, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2. That was a bullshit game. So here's the North American version also has Bubble Bobble, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong Jr., Final Fantasy, Kid Icarus Punch-Out, featuring Mr. Dream. Not my you said it like Kid, Is Kid Icarus and Punch-Out were the same game, and I don't appreciate Kid that. Kid Icarus and Punch-Out. Those are both excellent games. This punch out featuring Mr. Dream, not even Mike Tyson. They lost that license a long time ago. I'm yeah. guessing. Star Tropics. Think and Tech Mobile. Star Tropics was Star Tropics was, Star Tropics was fun, man. Yo, yo, yo yo was your weapon, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, you had other weapons, but yeah. Dude, Star Tropics was like kind of ahead of its time yeah, for I Nintendo. Loved, anyway. I love that game. Yeah. The full on RPG. You say ahead of its time if you went back and played that now, like somebody who had never played that game before, they would be in yeah. um, they would be a misery for It was ahead of its oh, time, yeah. but yeah. that time has passed. That well, but I guess as far as like RPGs and you know meandering around around in the world, like I didn't really see the Final Fantasies and everything hitting until we had Super Nintendo and Genesis, right? That was a that was a classic see, NES see, well, classic NES RPG where you're rolling around and making. If they had a Super Nintendo handheld that was like a Superboy, have you seen those things? Yeah, that that's what they should make. They would just be printing money. Yeah, that that's They're, the thing yeah. that everyone would buy the yeah. Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's true. Because you don't, don't need they? the analog joysticks. You could just have just Wait till next year. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, next year will be a Furby, and the year after that will be... D just get a Furby. A Furby that's not just picking itself out of an egg. You get, like, an actual, like, a, a uterus. There's a th It comes out of a canal. <laughs> Did you ever have those alien... There's a whole There's a deal. dude protesting outside. Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, the whole... The, are you talking... <laughs> The whole thing. Um, I, I I should mention uh, about the clothes that we're wearing that hey. uh, you'll be able to put all of this on your wish list on Wednesday, and I believe it will officially go on sale on Monday. One yes. of these is me. We, I well, think. we have a Black Friday gotcha. sale. Yes. And Cyber Monday stuff. Uh, so you'll be able to these onesies, these sweaters, uh, those cups. There's like literally, I think, almost. A hundred new products in our store Tons coming of stuff. out in the next couple you of weeks. And also, you guys show these cups? These cups are really awesome. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're, they're oh, apparently yeah. indestructible, they go I've like heard. They're mush, mush, mush. They're, un Look, they're they go mush. indestructible. <laughs> these are awesome. They're pine glasses. I've never seen a glass like this before. Also, uh, I'm being, so I'm being I mean, they bounce by, really well. <laughs> I'm being told by off-camera that the, uh, the gift of this holiday season is a million-dollar butts of card game, which is going to be available on Amazon.com starting tomorrow. Hey! I like when I pointed at you, they cut to me pointing yeah. to you. <laughs> Listen to this man. So, Million Dollars Butt, say it again. The card game, available tomorrow on Amazon.com. So crazy. That is really, really awesome that our so card game is making it to Amazon. That's nuts. Yeah, featuring it. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, if you're watching the live stream tomorrow. I deduced sure. that you had a card game. Yeah. Figured it out. I Contextually, you figured it out. I told him about everything that we do at Rooster Teeth Except today. for the card I game. I forgot the card game. I learned about that because these gentlemen were Brought kind enough to share that information. Yeah. I, I feel like you we should quiz him. Joe should I, I'll, I'll, give him a, I'll give him a million dollars butt scenario. Should I also add that I was not requested to wear this onesie? 
I chose. This was under my own volition. I chose to wear this onesie. Nobody asked me to do this. I am not modeling this because they're paying me to do it. I'm modeling it because it's fucking badass. And we just gave you a bunch and of beer. And onesies go with boots, y'all. They sure do. Did you even know about and that? Socks. Did you even know about that? Fucking boots. Come you know you can now. wear socks over Especially, your shoe. You can, and you can. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna actually put them on. And like if a you're sock. English, I thought your bottom of your foot looked weird. <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing a cast. <laughs> oh. gout. And we also have pillows. So you Dealing see the pillows? with the gout. <laughs> Very British problem to have. Yeah. I have a Very scenario. Colonial. I have a scenario for you. Okay, you get you get a million dollars, right? A lot of money. But you have to have a hundred cold sores squirted into your oh, eye. Jesus. <laughs> what? You mean just the probability of it? Yeah. Well, they're it? all cold sores are herpetic. No, right? herpetic. Is, aren't they all? That's what cold sore is. Yeah, cold sores yeah. are herpes. So yes. you're you're that's you're losing an eye for a million bucks. I'm not doing See, it. It might, might not eat your eye out. I mean, I think your pillows are all right. And also, it's just one eye. Yeah, a million bucks to lose an eye is a lot, Gavin. Yeah, I don't. I I'm sorry. It. Can I, I? It's still tripping me out that somebody got herpes from another person in their eye, By and their way. eye essentially dissolved in their head. Like, how does that happen? They're, have you By the way, if that, you, does, if that, you, that doesn't seem fair or right. Not that there's a lot of things that aren't fair. If right. you don't Google anything all year, don't Google that. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't do it. There's Trust like, me. Click on Reddit. I love that that's not that if you don't Google anything all year. Did you hear the, that that at the, the top thing. of that list? Do you ever thing. click on the not safe for life things on Reddit? Oh. I always regret it. Not safe for life? For life. No, I've never That's done usually that. things like gore, eyes dissolving, or did, no. Did you hear did the. You all, did you watch Faces of Death? A lot of stuff I, from China I and Russia. Of it yeah, see, yeah, this yeah. is when you get into the real shit. When you start asking people if they've watched Faces of Death, you really learn something yeah. about What, is that somebody. people dying? Oh, yes. Oh, all people dying. We always I've watch it at, like, it. sleepovers. By the way, this is from, like, the VHS era yeah. of yes. watching shit. But now, they're all on the online, internet, they, that they've, that they've seen I don't know stuff that's, like, ten times worse than that by noon this morning. Did like, you, if you go to What the Fuck on Reddit, that subreddit is I, a nightmare. I unsubscribe from that subreddit. What the fuck? WTF. WTF. Just WTF? That's it. it that that subreddit's that? a nightmare. Are you I'm not a Redditor? I'm not a Redditor. Mm. I'm going to read you I the know. top five headlines. I WTF. suppose I should be a Redditor. I don't know. I... Did you hear the uh, the, yeah. the claims that people were getting ocular herpes from VR headsets? From sharing VR headsets? Ocular wow. herpes? No. Wow. They, unsubstantiated. It's it's not proven it? if that was actually the case. Is it? So shout out to whoever played VR here uh, during Extra Life. I just want to say Gus is the head of the VR at Rooster Teeth, I, I, so if we get herpes, we have. Uh, oh, I, 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 so he should be, put, he's oversight. I put covers yeah, over the VR headset that you can wipe down with, uh, like the lady. You put your glove on and you get the <laughs> antibacterial wipes and you just wipe it all down. I would have shat on her tray. Jesus. Yeah, that she wasn't bothering that me. I mean, she was... Weird, but it wasn't just affecting to, me. Just to prove a point. Wow, Barbara. I know, shitting is a, like but sneezing. Like, I, I, I was with you when you were like, did you sneeze? Like, yeah, that's funny. But to actually stand up, take the time. Laying a brick even, on her to, table? To drop trowel and shit on her table. Yeah. Say, clean this up, bitch. Which, by the way, would only be open <laughs> if there was something already on it, right? That took such like, a not time. even her meal, but like maybe she finished her meal, but she's got a little ginger ale left. And it's <laughs> ginger the, ginger you know, it's like right there, and you're like, See, I'm just going to move. You take it out of the little, like, that little indenture circular area uh -huh. that's there for the cup that never fucking works, by the way. That that's does not hold shit. a cup in place. Oh, it totally Certainly does. not a bot. No, it does not. What, not, the not, dent? Like, not like a yeah, can of dent. beer. It depends on it the It doesn't hold anything there. So you got to move that out of the way. The ginger ale is over the. And then you just you're Soft just stuff. shitting on with her child and husband just yeah. watching. How would yeah. you even get in there to do that and drop trowel? I was saying, saying. I well, she got to drop trowel in the aisle. Oh, in the yeah. aisle, and then you waddle she's over. She's got to like uh, no, it's kind of like, like a flip over. around. Like so, if she's sitting right behind, she drops trowel in front of her seat, and then kind of leans forward and goes, "Hey, lady, I got a present for you," <laughs> and then just kind of grabs her seat, spins around, right? So you're not revealing. You don't want to give away that the trowel's already been dropped, right? And then you shit. Or I take a her. little baggie into the bathroom with me. By the way, hold on a second. <coughs> what if she's sitting in the middle seat? <laughs> what if she's in the middle seat or the window? You're just you're just. She's putting... not. She's in the aisle. And what? Meanwhile, Barbara's walking down We're the aisle. We're assuming she's like, in the aisle. He's like, hey, she's was gonna she in the shit aisle? Right. She wasn't. <laughs> gonna fucking oh, shit. come on, guys. She was in the aisle. Sorry. Guys, work with me. <laughs> what are the top five headlines in WTF? I'm, I'm dying to know. Uh, this is a condition called hyperdontia. Ooh. Oh, it, no. The guy has like three rows of teeth. Ooh. I looked at the image. Like a Actually, shock? Can we watch? Can we look at that? Highway oh, to, hell Highway to Hell is the second one. Okay. That is a clip from China. 
if that gives you any hint of what that is. Okay. Swinging in the rain. Haven't clicked on that one. <laughs> don't know what that is. Uh, you deer, know what that is. Deer versus crocodile. Eh? I That'll bet the be crocodile cool. wins. I think well, maybe wins not. It's a W two F T F moment because the fucking deer beats a crocodile. It's probably a crocodile hanging from the antlers of a deer as it walks out. Oh. Whoa, that's cool. Wait, play he again. leapt. Play it again. Play okay, again. Okay, okay, it'll loop back okay. around. You know, we need a word that describes the ability to show someone a gift just as it links or as it loops. Wow. Yeah, that thing hops. There should like be like a little reset button air. instead yeah. of having to wait all the, to go yeah. all the way around. Yeah, yeah. You can just good reload. reflexes, dear. Reload. And then the last one reload. is reload. This is my personal reload. favorite. Russian family photos. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Trump in there? A lot, lot of China and Russia in the WTF subreddit. A lot of China. Oh, there's Russian a subreddit Dutch called fans. Watch People Die. Have no, you that, that, that? That, I stay away from that. Yeah, it's terrible. Out of that. Have you watched the Black Merit episode with the bees? Yes. <sighs> See, I watched the one with the pig and the pig and the prime minister. Oh, that's the no, but first here's episode. the thing that's episode one, season one, and people get all weird and turned off by that shit. I'm going to say one thing. Number I mean, one, can. that is the most, that could happen right now. I like if that episode. ISIS decided to say, hey, President of the United States yep. or Prime Minister, we and they genuinely grabbed somebody that was close to them, a relative, of a dear friend, and said, unless you fuck a pig on camera, oh my God. spoiler alert to anyone who has not watched Black Mirror, you fucking need to. But if they said, unless you fuck a pig on camera live for the world to see, we will kill your relative... This that shit could princess? happen. That could happen right now. By the way, even not your relative. What if you were just responsible for it? If you went and fucked a pig, you could save the life of another person. Was that the original, person. original plot to Tangled? That was, it was similar, <laughs> but not exactly. You. It was, American I had to. American institution. There was, I'm actually you. not going to get into this because that would be, <laughs> that would be desecrating Disney and Tangled and go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I love them both. Uh, solid joke though. Solid, yeah, solid. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, so. To me, even though it's like super disturbing, it's it should be disturbing. Every episode of that show, with the exception of San Jacinto, San Junipero. No, San, excuse me, I'm staying at a hotel on, on <laughs> San Jacinto in Austin. Go visit San Junipero. Him. Thank you guys. Um, <laughs> He's sticking with it, man. He's I'm sticking him fucking forever. You will always be known guys. as guys. Guys and his and his amazing sweater. So, guys would you sweater. shag a pig to save Gus's life? Yes, oh. I would. Oh, on camera. Camera. Yes, I absolutely fucking would. Absolutely. I'm a very altruistic person. What though. about I my life? Even if it yes. wasn't to save anybody. Yes, no, anyone, still be all no over I'm it. sorry. I, I I think anyone's life. I think What about what about uh, The unfortunate thing is that everyone <laughs> in the world <laughs> would have these weird judgments and like they do in the episode instead of going, Yeah, don't watch that TV. He's been forced to by terrorists to do this on like everybody turn that shit off. Let that let that It be. was an interesting change from like everyone was like, Yeah, and then it was just and they all, real. Yeah, they all like, die. Oh. They all like die. But again, Ugh. this is why I think everyone needs to watch Black Mirrors because it's it is that reflection of where are we going in the future? Who are we inside as people? The one the first se- the first episode of this uh, third season Bryce Dallas Howard, I can't oh, remember the name of the episode. Don't spoil it. It was the the, the, the ratings one. The ra- yeah, it's all about liking. It's and that's that, liking. that's that's already and it's happening right like, now. You look at Uber. That's that, that's already all happening. Of it, all the, of it. The well, other day, not just Uber, Yelp, well, everything. The other we're, day, de- we're decimating people with our dislikes or bad reviews, and we're dying for good reviews and thumbs up and all that. We become so obsessed. That's why you know. Uh, the, the other I, day, I my, could go on for days. My wife and I got picked I will up go by on an Uber days. driver. This is going to go until 11. <laughs> he lives yeah. here now. My wife and I got picked up by an Uber driver somewhere the other day. And oh, uh, wow. the driver Did goes, he's, he, he looks at me and goes, oh, I've given you a ride before. I was like, oh, okay, weird. And then he looks at my wife and goes, he's a five-star passenger, you know. And I was like, oh, uh, okay, this is a little weird. Was this your way to drop that you're a five-star oh, by passenger? By the way, I'm a five-star passenger on Uber. Did you not know that? that out there. By the way, no. how often are you, you Ubering since rain. Austin... Fucking killed it for everybody. Well, Gus travels a lot. I travel a lot. It's coming back. He uses it. So you know, not over this, Austin. I love you as a city, but why did you kill Uber? Do you know what happened? Do you you know what happened? They killed themselves. We we explained it a little bit to him. We talked about it earlier. I'm sorry, but that's still common sense. Well, see, this is a big problem. That's still common sense. I don't care what the campaigns say. (laughs) Common sense is there's a company that's offering you incredibly convenient and cheap and vetted drivers to take you. They are vetted. vetted they're to vetted in California. No, they vet them themselves. They, in they're vetted to higher standards than even the... Am I wrong? All, all Correct they, me if I'm wrong. All they wanted to do in Austin was have the drivers thumbprinted and background checked. That's it. 
by but the I city Uber instead of by that. Uber. Uber pulled the fuck out. And they said, no, but We're Uber not already does that. Yeah. I know, but when we passed the referendum that we, the, the city wanted to make sure they had background checks and thumbprints, Uber goes, nope, bye. And they were gone in 48 hours. Yeah, but because Uber was like, yo, we're already doing that, sh- that stuff. You're making it hard for us to do this. Why do you need to control the business, that, especially in Texas? Like, that's a business. Leave that business alone. Let that business do what they're doing. If they're doing what they're supposed to do, let them go. There haven't been any problems, right? Like, the, there weren't no, any issues. I mean, Everything dude, had been the, done. The problems that have happened with Uber are so crazy. I'm not a spokesman for Uber, by the way, <laughs> but I'd appreciate some free rides. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, what they've not done, really, Levi. Yeah. What they've they're done, coming back, by the way. They've had, they've had many little incidents here and there and everywhere. Sure, fine, but that's minor. There are so many people that have cab experiences. Oh, right. Apparently, they are coming back. Well, my experience in the cab is just all getting a cab now. They talk to you about Uber from the moment you're in the cab to the moment you get out of the cab. I've never heard a better commercial for Uber than sitting in a cab for five fucking minutes. All they want to do is talk to you about Uber. We and how talk sh- to you how shitty cab it is? driver, how shitty Uber yeah. is, and how I, Uber's well, ruining they're, everything. They're that's, they're a ca- that's a good ad for Uber. Yeah. Or? yeah. Well, because it's cab drivers. They just they, they and they won't shut up for thirty minutes while they're driving somewhere in L.A. Because in L.A., I can't ever catch an Uber at the airport because they always cancel on me. So I have to catch a yellow cab. So then I go, and then they complain about Uber the entire time. I I had to take a a taxi from the San Francisco airport several months ago. And uh, so I'm I'm like, all right, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. Taxi driver starts bitching about Uber. Like, all right, whatever, whatever. We get to the destination. Like, all right, I want to pay with my credit card. Card card reader doesn't work. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Doesn't work. Hold on. Let me reboot it. Reboot it. Swipe, swipe, doesn't work. Like, oh, come on. I've been sitting here for 10 fucking minutes. Dude. He's like, do you have any cash? Like, no. No. Yeah, well, they, 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 the Can you is, give me cash? Uber is super, I mean, I'm sorry, but they spent the money. They built They built a network. They built an infrastructure that works, and it's good, and it's clean. I tried to use Fasten. I, I got to town a couple days ago. I tried to use Fasten, downloaded the app, put all my information in, and then I was sitting with the app. I said, swipe to get a ride. No swiping. Nothing was working. Mm-hmm. The whole app didn't work. I ended up hitchhiking. I shit you not. <laughs> Last night, I went to Egos to go fucking karaoke by myself because you're damn right. <laughs> and I'm trying to get a fasten to pick me up. Nothing. I hitchhiked for the first time in my life up up, up Congress. Why didn't you just get a cab? I couldn't. There were no cabs. It was like two in the morning. There was no fucking cabs. Yeah, what are those bikes with eight people? Tell me how many cabs there. come by Egos. It's in an apartment complex, for God's sake. So let me let me tell you the issue with Uber and this whole thing. I like Uber too. Uber's super convenient. No, if you're gonna kill Uber, all I'm saying is if you're gonna kill Uber, make an app that actually works. The city yeah. should be behind it. Well, that's another business can. who's not obviously seizing an opportunity. That they should. Uber will come back in those companies. Who knows? They probably won't be around. But Uber, the problem I've got with them is they issued the legislation. They voted the 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 city of Austin voted in the legislation. Uh, what was it June? Gus, uh, it was right, was it was right before, it was April. Right right before our first of Geis, all. it was April. It wasn't going to go into place until February of the following year. The legislation was passed on a Friday. By Monday, Uber was gone. Yeah. So they, they pulled out because, in less than 48 because hours. Because why not? Because why not? Well, the because drivers. Because they turned off all those drivers' jobs in with less than 48 hours' notice. And Uber Instead has put in an February. order with Detroit that they want 500,000 autonomous cars. Uber owns no vehicles. They've ordered 500,000 autonomous vehicles. The moment they're manufactured, they want them. And, wh- and what why? are they going to do? They're going to shut off all of those jobs. There's no, okay. three and a half million uh, people uh, get jobs from transportation. But this is a black mirror stuff, right? It's, it's a black mirror stuff. Totally agree. It's total black mirror stuff. What happens? Technology will eventually start doing all of these various things, including taking away jobs from drivers. Right. However, when a city like Austin says you need to do all these background checks, things that they're already doing per, per chance. And now they have an opportunity where they can know they don't have to worry about any background check because there's no person in that car that you need to check. Except for the person who's riding, basically, is the only responsible human in the car. Exactly. So why wouldn't they go to autonomous cars? If cities like Austin are you saying think, you need to do things uh, with these drivers, they go, fine, no, no driver at all. Well, well they, they would just use the tire print of the, of the car if there's no fingerprints available, right? <laughs> tire okay. print. Put it here. Who are you, her? I know. Are so you her now? Leave the jokes to that was me. Good. Has this just happened? I thought it was All right. right. <laughs> we gotta, we got to wrap this up. So I uh, want to thank everyone for watching. want to thank our guest, Zach. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks, thank Zach. You for having me, Rooster Teeth. And uh, we will uh, see you guys next night. week. Don't forget to check out our, our store stuff and Million Dollars Butt on Amazon. Thank Love you. you. <laughs> Bye, this hoodie. It's the best. Love Quick you, Mina. Wrap up.